Hebrews are coming, coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. yeah. Hebrews are coming, coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hebrews are coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. yeah. Hebrews are coming, coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. yeah. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. We ain't playing, yeah. Standing on these corners, yeah. We taking games, yeah. Put them in the Bible, yeah. Ezekiel 37, great and seated on me, yeah. Come see what we about. We'll change it out. We moving out. You my battle life. And what was the war? What you waiting here for? Come see what the hell you're facing. With D, he'll break the nation. Sounds like a little revelation. Oh, yes. You can get out. We can get out and feed the poor. We do it in the camps, bring out lunches and juice and feed the people that's listening. The homeless comes up, you feed them. You go into homeless shelters, uh, uh, men's shelters, women's shelters. You're making donations, you're putting care packages together, sending it out and feeding the people. But the scriptures say if you don't have charity, even though you're doing a good deed, the scriptures say if you don't have charity, it's nothing. Come on. And though I give my body to be burned, though you give your body to be burned, you done fed the poor, you done did all these things, you got all the mysteries, you got all the knowledge. You see that? You moving mountains, got deep, strong faith, and you giving your body to be burned in this truth, you becoming a sacrifice out there in the streets, putting this word in. You giving your life, I, I, I done heard brothers, I die for this truth. But I bet you wouldn't die without charity. You won't want to die without charity in this room. You would want that charity in your life if you have to give it up. Even though you become a martyr in this word, you would have to have that charity with that. And when we speak about love as Hebrew Israelites, we, we're not speaking about chunk love. We're not just looking at this worldly love. We're not looking at that. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the strength of love, the power of love, the power of charity. Because something that you will love, you will do what for it? Die for it. And you will do what for it? Kill for it. See, so we ain't talking about no, no chump love. We talking about respecting one another, every brother, every man, woman, and child, as Hebrew Israelites. Okay, continue. And have not charity it profits me nothing. You can be a sacrifice in this word. Put all that work in. Who is that example in, this, in, in the scriptures? Judas. It's a script in the psalm, and Peter reiterated that scripture. It say, let his bishop prick go to another. Let him lose that. All that work that he put in, let him lose that. Why? Because of the charity he did not have. When the disciples received the power to heal, wasn't Judas there? Yes. When Yahweh fed 5,000 people, wasn't he there? Did he see those miracles? Did he see that power? He witnessed it. He was there. Judas' position was he was the treasurer and he, uh, 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 he officiated the disciples' monies. He was around them. He was around that power. And you can have all the power, all the power of healing, all the power, power of miracles, and have not charity is nothing. It profits you nothing. Continue. Four verse. Verse four. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity wanteth not. Itself is right. not. Uh, uh, okay, it said charity suffer long. That means if you have that spirit of charity in you, that means you can put up with a lot of foolishness, a lot of mess. You can be patient with a lot of nonsense. You got the spirit of patience in you. You're not quick, quick to, to rebuttal anything. You analyze things now because you have that spirit of charity in you. And it goes on and say, and it's kind. It said, charity envy not. Charity is not the spirit of gossip. Okay, you don't find gossip around charity. That's right. 
You don't find that type of a communication if you got charity in you. You don't find a, 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 a envious spirit within somebody that has charity. It's not there. You don't find a person that have charity or brother or sister that have charity in them. You don't find them trying to uh, trying to injure a brother or sister's dignity or trying to uh, uh, defame their character or defame their name. That's not charity. Charity don't deal with those type of uh, attributes. That's not charity. That's not L-O-V-E. Huh? Uh -huh. Charity don't operate in that avenue, in that direction. Huh? Now I'm going to finish reading this. It's that charity does not vaunt it itself. That means it does not boast. A person does not, they got charity, they don't boast of themselves. And they don't praise themselves all the time, <laughs> you know. It's a lie to somebody, hey, this brother, that sister, but vaunted, charity is not in that area. It does not boast itself. It does not uh, uh, be praised. Yeah, like Trump. But, but, but I'm talking about uh, we as a community, Hebrew Israelites. See, we got to get this entity within our spirit. We got to get charity in us. Okay, because we are the community. We are the community and the congregation and the nation that the Bible speaks about. This is our constitution. These are our laws. It belongs to the Hebrew Israelites. We have to live them. Okay? Now, uh, Read that fifth verse. Verse 5, does not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, right. is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. Okay, brothers and sisters, I just wanted to go into a little bit of charity with you, which is, which is love and respect as Hebrew Israelites. And I see a lot of young camps is coming out, and y'all in the streets teaching what you have, I just wanted to add that. Add charity to your arsenal. Con, add that charity. Don't, don't be afraid to add that to your arsenal because I know how it is when you come into this word and you've been in this word about a year or two and we still have uh, uh, that mentality. We, we are not balanced yet. But don't be afraid to add charity. Charity would get you through the rough waters. Charity would get you through the rough times. And when you're out there in society, in these streets, Teaching always balance, always push charity, always push the discipline, always be patient. Con, always be patient. And I deal with that. Shalom. 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 All right. Shalom, shalom, shalom. That was Elder Ash. Get the most out of help out from the shy round of applause. The Elder Ash concerning charity is very important. Okay, so the next brother. All right, is Elder Bun Yum Yum. Okay, Ben. And Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, family, Shalom. Here's Brother Ash. Uh, he showed you uh, his, uh, not his views, but his uh, scriptural view of charity. So, charity, we can't be that kind of Trump. Okay? Trump is a malignant narcissist. So, we don't want to be like that. Okay, when you are a narcissist, you don't know what love is. You are an ego. You have all your egos, and you think you're everything. All right? So we don't want to be a malignant narcissist like Trump. That's his character. All right? We want to possess the character that Yahweh Shai said we should possess. We want to be an example to everybody, even the wicked. You understand? When you can be an example to the wicked, they're amazed at that. You know that? When you can run up in your job, and the enemies of your job, Edomites and whoever, and they see an example of you. You know what? They're not going to hate you. They're going to be amazed at that, like, fascinated by that. You know what I mean? So that's the type of spirit and character and personality and person we want to be. Everybody has individual traits and personalities, but I always develop the trait and the spirit of the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. You can't go wrong with that spirit and that character, all right? And that's what we all have to strive for. That's number one priority, to strive for that, okay? 
So I'm going to kick it off with Ezekiel 39. All right, Ezekiel 39, chapter, start from the 22nd verse. Ezekiel chapter 39, verse 22. So the house of Israel shall know that I am the most high, their power from the day and from that day and forward. Alright. So this is gonna be a future prophecy. And that's gonna be done in our lifetime. Alright? We're gonna know who the most high is. And the power that, that he's ruling with and what he did to us. Continue. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity. So the Most High said, and the heathen is going to know why the children of Israel went into slavery. Okay? It's not going to be saying, oh, the Jewish people. That crap is going to be played out. Okay? The Jewish people. The Jewish people. No. It's going to be said, why? The niggas. That's what they love to call us. The nigger word. But you're not there, they're going to be amazed and astonished. These are the people of God. All right? So the most I said, the heathen shall know why the house of Israel. Go ahead. That the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. We went into captivity, slavery for our iniquities, for our sins against the most high. That's the only reason why we're in this condition as a people. And it's not just here. Anywhere you go in the world where we are scared as a people, it's the same old damn same thing. Same predicament, same living condition, same lifestyle. Okay? You could be here in New Haven, in Florida, and you go down to the islands, it's the same thing. Yeah. The same thing. Ain't no different. Okay? The same thing. You got that, you could pick up, and you could catch on. The same because we have that same spirit, we're in the same condition as a people. Go to Brazil, the same thing. Central America. Belize, Honduras, Panama, it's the same thing. Puerto Rico, DR, the same thing. All right, continue. Because they trespassed against me. Because we trespassed against them on side. That's what we did. Continue. Therefore hid I my face from them. So the most High said, therefore, because of that, he hid his face from us. Now, what does that mean in essence when the Most High said he hid his face from us? The Most High took away his personal dealings with us, that communication, the blessings, and everything that the Most High bestowed upon us, he hid his face from us. I'm not going to deal with you no more as a people. I'm going to leave you into the hands of your enemies. And your enemy is going to be your God. White supremacy. We all been brought up into that nonsense, white supremacy. And some of us still living by that white supremacy. All right? Because white supremacy has been a stronghold in the minds of all of our people from the four corners of the earth. Continue. And gave them into the hand of their enemies. And that's what the most I did. He gave us into the hands of our enemies. And we're still into the hands of our enemies. Continue. So fell they by all by the sword. And that's how we fell as a people. Some people ask you, if we were kings and queens and great people over in the other land, how did we end up in this condition? That's the reason why. If we were a great people in the past, prince, kings, rulers, warriors, how did we end up in this predicament as a people? And it's right here. It's not how much money we had or how bad we were. You could be the baddest person out there, man. But when your time is up for the most high, ain't nothing you could do, man. When the most high calling your time, it's time. Just like America time is running out. America time now, that sand, that, that, that sand in that hourglass, it's running out. And it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. But they're gonna fight to hold on to it, but they're not gonna they're not gonna keep it. We did the same thing too. We fought like hell not to go in slavery. We fought, chop over the board, no no, shark ate us. We did everything. Ah, we ain't going to slavery. Ah. The most I said, you going to slavery, man. You're going into it. And if you have to fight for your revolution. 
but you still going in slavery. You go rebel, all right? You go form Nat Turner, all right? You go form the Haitian Rebellion, but you still going to serve that slavery, and that enemy still going to be ruling, okay? You go anywhere in the face of the world. It's, like I said, South America, the islands, we're still in the same condition. Yeah, go ahead, Barack. Um, but like you said, we fought valiantly trying to stop the Romans from destroying us in 70 AD. They said it took the Romans seven years to conquer us totally. Con seven years. Look at Josephus, seven years. So we fought, but what happened? We still ended up falling. Con we still ended up being destroyed. But we fought like crazy. So you don't think this Edomite's gonna fight? He gonna fight, right? And he's, he's really, and he knows his enemy is who? Israel. So he's coming after us. He can't get to Yahweh Shai no more, but he's coming after Yahweh Shai's people. So we gotta be prepared. But it took them seven years to destroy Israel. Keep in mind, three tribes. Yeah. How about that? Only, and only three tribes were left in Israel at the time. How about that? And they had a hard time. And we read uh, Titus the Roman general, what he said. Vespasian, who was the emperor of Rome, what he said. He said, the Mosai must have destroyed his people. It wasn't us. It wasn't the Romans. It was the Mosai. Because they, they caught hell trying to destroy us. Okay? So I'm going to show you. But we still ended up falling. Because the Mosai prophesied it. Because of our sins. And then even in South America, too, there was a lot of rebellions in Brazil, man. In Brazil, they fought. You understand? But the Most High said, you're going down because my word's going to stand. All right? The Most High word always stands, man. You can fight against it, but you're not going to win. you fight fighting a losing battle. Okay? Continue. Verse 24. According to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions have I done unto them and hid my face from them. See? Second time, when I hid my face from the Most High turned away his dealings from us. So to me, I say, well, if there is a God in the world, why does he allow all this evil? Why does he allow all the evil in the world? Because of us. We're not in power. We're not in the driver's seat in authority with the most high. So what, by us not being in the right frame and uh, divine posture of the most high, the whole earth is on a sick. The whole world is upside down. Man, woman, beast, the moon, the stars, everything is out of sync. Okay? Nothing is not lined up properly. When we line up with the Most High, everything is going to be put back in its order. The Most High said when he brings back our captivity and he raises us back up, he said the sun and the moon is going to be seven times brighter than it is right now. That's how powerful we are as a people. I'm going to read that scripture before I close up real quick. All right? Continue. Verse 25. Therefore, thus saith the most high power, now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel. So the most high said, now will I bring the captivity of Jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel. Continue. And will be jealous for my holy name. After that, they have borne their shame mm -hmm. and all their trespass, whereby they have trespassed against them. When they dwelt, when they dwelt safely in their land, and none made them afraid. And that's going to happen very soon when we dwell safely in our land. Right now, we're not doing it safely. All right, all those states, Mississippi, Chicago, all the death toll of young black men. All right, in St. Louis, Missouri, the violence out there is is is. Stupid man. Okay? So we're not dwelling in safety. We're dwelling in shame and disgrace. Continue. Verse 27. When I have brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemies' lands. Mm -hmm. See that? When he brings us out from the people and from the land of our enemies, go ahead. And they am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. Mm -hmm. Then shall they know that I am Yahweh their power which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. Mm -hmm. But I have gathered them unto their own land and have left none of them any more there. Neither will I hide my face any more from them. 
For I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, said the Isle of Paradise. All right. You see that? So from there, before I close up, let's go to the book of Isaiah 30. Isaiah 30 and 26. And I'll leave you with this here to show you the power of the unity and strength when we return back to the Most High. And I, I, I love to teach this here, that repentance. When you read the scripture of John, scriptures tell you when one sinner repent, the angels in the heaven rejoice. There's rejoicing in the heavens when one person repents and turns back to the Most High. That's great power. When the angels do that, brothers and sisters, that's tremendous power. All right? You're not now the force of Satan when you repent and return back to the most side. All right? So read Isaiah 30 and 26. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 26. Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun. So you see that? It says, moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun. Read again in Akala. Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun. So you think the moon is shining bright now, right? Wait, it was a full moon last night, right? We haven't seen no full moon yet. All right? Go ahead. And the light of the sun shall be sevenfold. See? And the light of the sun shall be sevenfold. Continue. As the light of seven days. As the light of seven days. Go ahead. In, in the day that Yahweh bindeth up the breach of his people. You see that? In the day that the Most High bindeth up the breach of his people. And what is that breach? The covenant that we broke with the Most High. So that therefore that caused a division amongst us. Alright? Continue. And healeth the stroke of their wounds. And healeth the stroke of their wounds. Continue. Behold, the name of Yahweh coming from Paul burning with his anger, and the burden thereof is heavy. His lips are full of indignation, and his tongue has a devouring fire. All right, so hallelujah. I say shalom, shalom, hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, come ya shalom. Come ya shalom. Come ya shalom. So that was Elder Benjamin, all right. All praise to Yahweh Bar Shama, uh, Hamashiach Yahushah. So give one of them a round of applause. So we got Elder Yachanan, okay, priest Elder Yachanan up next. Yachanan. So I want to brothers and sisters. I want to say this before Yachanan start. Uh, that last scripture that, that Ben put in Isaiah, when it spoke about that most sides going to be what being bright like the sun. Right, right. Uh, they're gonna the most side your house shot is gonna shine. And the reason that scripture reads like that, because if when you read uh in Josephus, Josephus writes that the second temple had gold on all sides, and when the sun shined in Jerusalem, it lit up, it, it lit up bright like the sun. So that's why the disciples asked, they was glorifying the temple, your house shot said, Look, there shall not be a stone left up on another. Because they was glorified and magnificent of that second temple and how bright it was. But the house out at the most high is going to light up like the sun and the moon in our time, in our kingdom. So it's not the temple. It's those two entities that's going to light up. Shalom. Hallelujah. Kwame Shalom. Kwame Shalom. Kwame Shalom. 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 Now, this is an exciting time. This is a time where prophecy is being fulfilled and that we're actually living in prophecy. These are the days in which our forefathers wanted to see and we are actually living in them. So I want to read something uh, before we go into the book of Deuteronomy 30. I'm going to be reading uh, 1 through 7, so just hold that for me. And I want to read Isaiah 33, verse 6. And it reads on this wise. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Elder Osh brought out powerfully, if you don't have that charity, then you're as nothing. We saw that in Corinthians. We're going to need wisdom. What you see up here is a wellspring of wisdom. We have the wisdom. The Most High has given us his wisdom. 
his instructions, his teachers. That's going to be the stability of our times. And strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. We're living in a time of information. But information, this generation has become an inflammation generation. And when you get puffy, when you get puffy, that's, that's not well. It's not well for your physical body to retain too much water and get puffy. If you get puffy, then guess what comes with that? Pride. What does knowledge do? It puffs up. And without wisdom, we don't have that balance. So we're living in a time of inflammation, but it's dangerous. If we don't balance it out with wisdom, then we're going to be destined to fail again and repeat what was just read in Ezekiel. The curses will remain on us. And so the wisdom shall be the stability of our time. What do they say in this time? Standing on business. Isn't that the time somebody laughing out there? Because you know that's, that's the time. That's the, the language of today. Standing on business. The only business that we need to stand on is this in the book of Luke 2 and 49. And Hamashiach Yahawashah made it perfectly clear, beloved. He says, and he said unto them, how is it that she sought me? Was she not that I must be about my father's business? That's the only business. That's going to be the wisdom and the stability of these times that we're living in. And without that, we're only going to be puffed up. We're going to be full of pride. We're not going to seek the wisdom of those that were before us, the elders that had came into place to go through those experiences. The young men for their strength, the elder men for their wisdom, that's balance. Without that, there's going to be no love, there's going to be no charity, there's going to be a disassembling of one another, and not what you see today as us coming together. And it was prophesied in the book of Deuteronomy 30 that this, what we're experiencing today, would happen. And we're on our way, beloved. Read the book of Deuteronomy 30, verse 1, Bible Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, when all these things are come upon thee, the blessings and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the most high thy power hath driven thee. That's where we are today in this time. We are living in this biblical prophecy that Marsha gave to the children of Israel. We are actualizing the covenant. We are actualizing this covenant today. Come on. And shall return unto Yahweh thy power. And if we return, that means if we go back, this is specific to Yahshua. I don't have to insult anyone's intelligence. This is the specific contract that he only made with this nation. If we return it, the first people that he gave it to, and it's going to be the last people that he gives it to. Okay. Read on. And shall obey his voice. What? Obey his obey. voice voice, come on, according to all that I command thee this day. This is the wisdom, beloved. This is the way that we get out of here. Read on. Thou and thy children, with all thine heart and with all thy soul. This is the business we need to be standing on in this inflammation generation. Read on. That then, Yahweh, thy power will return thy captivity. This is how you get rid of the puffiness. This is how you get rid of the pride. This is how you get rid of the arrogance. Read. And have compassion upon thee. Then he's going to have that compassion. Read on. And will return and gather thee from all the nations, whether the most high thy power has scattered. And we're seeing that. We're seeing that's evident today. There's no place, no corner in what we call planet Earth. There's no paradigm in which man and woman and child lives and thrives and survives and exists that this word is not going out. Come, Yasha. Read on. If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will Yahweh thy power gather thee. This is his promise. He's gathering us today. And we're walking in that. It's evident today. And I'm so excited about it. Read on. And from thence will he fetch thee. Come on. And the most high thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possess. We're going into the land. What's going on now over in the so-called Middle East? It is because of you, beloved. It is because of, he is purging the land as we speak. Read. And thou shalt possess it. And we shall possess it. Read on. And he will do thee good. 
Come and on. multiply thee above thy fathers. Come on. And the most high thy power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed. He's going to make sure that we walk in it correctly. Amen. Now we have another opportunity to do what we failed to do. Amen. Now this is our second chance, beloved. Don't squander it away again because the same results, same results. Read on. To love the most high thy power with all thine heart. To do what? To love the most high thy power. What did Elder Ars bring out? Love. If we don't have that type of love, then we will fail once again. Read on. That thou mayest live. Come on. And the most high thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies. Come on, let's put our hands together. We're seeing the curses. You got so called Europeans singing, we shall overcome. And on them, and on them that hate thee. And all them that hate thee. Soon we're going to be saying, how does it feel to be me? Uh -huh. All right? <laughs> Which, persecuted thee. Which persecuted thee. Come on. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Most High. Come on. And do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. Come. Is that it? Seven. That's it? Oh, that's good. I went past eight. So with that, <laughs> hey, let's be excited. And this is the gathering of the nation. And with that, I say shalom. shalom. All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. Uh, the brother Karash couldn't be with us uh, today. So um, he had uh, a couple scriptures. So I'm going to just go over it right quick. There's, there's three scriptures. Okay, Proverbs. 1728, get that right quick for us, huh? Proverbs 1728 and 29, and then 1 Corinthians 11, uh, 19. Okay, so get that right for us. So that's beautiful. And y'all notice one thing, right? How on the Sabbath service, in Masharaya Sha'Allah, we try to go through pretty much the whole book. We try to go from the law, right? The Old Testament, the New Testament, the Gospel, Revelation. So we're trying to bring out a little bit. We got a brother going to bring out something out of the uh, Apocrypha, Wisdom of Solomon. So we try to go through the whole book. So that's a Sabbath service for you. Come? Okay, that's beautiful. So all praise the Al Bar, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 27. He that hath knowledge spares his words, and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. So, what the Holy Father is teaching us now, he that hath knowledge is going to spare his word. And, and the scriptures do say what? The Lord is getting, bringing us what now? The knowledge of salvation. You come? You have the knowledge of salvation now. Are we saved yet? La. We're not saved yet. But we have what? The knowledge of salvation. So if the Yahweh Shai has given you the knowledge and give you the understanding of a law, statutes, and commandments and how to serve the Most High, right? Through the gospel, knowledge and wisdom. So the scriptures say, a man of many words is like a fool. Cunt. He's hasty. So we got to learn now to be temperate, use discipline with the knowledge and wisdom the Most High has given us. Cunt. Because the most I hate hate his spirit with the, with the knowledge that he gives a man. Okay? That's the worst thing you can do is be hasty. You can't rush the most I. Cut? Uh -huh. Remember Jesus a carrier? Yahweh yeah, Shah said, I chose 12 of you. One of you is the devil, the Bible speaks of. One of you is the devil. And Yahweh yeah, Shah called him the son of perdition. And there's a lot of sons of perdition out here. Cut? Uh -huh. We know that. So, but the thing about Judas is what? He wanted to rush Yahweh Shai. He wanted to rush him. You can't, he wanted to rush the spirit of the Most High into bringing down the Romans and bringing, bringing everything down. But the Most High has what? He says, he's not going to bring the kingdom until what? Everything is fulfilled. Come. Everything got to be filled. Us going through our captivity, us in, uh, going through uh, what we go through, our oppression, Amongst the nations and everything, all everything has to be fulfilled. The prophecies 
got to come to pass. Come? So a man of wisdom and knowledge spares his words because you have knowledge and wisdom. You read into the spirit. You have great discernment of situations. Come? Because when you see things happening in the world, you do what? You meditate and say, wait a minute, that's the most I have. Come? You say, wait a minute, why are all these birds dropping out of the sky? Why are all these fish coming up on the sea to die? Why is San Diego flooded right now? Huh? Why is Chicago under ice? Why are these things happening? Why is there death, destruction, and bloodshed? Why is the Israeli Mossad, the army over there killing Palestinian babies, older folks, and trying to wipe out the whole land? Because that's Esau's nature, isn't it? He did it with us. And when he, when he brought the COVID and all that, he tried to wipe you out. This Tuskegee experiment, he wants to wipe you out. So all these medical labs and all that you see throughout America, they want to wipe you out. The adoption, the adoption thing, right? Uh, what's the name? Uh, uh, what's the name that brought the adoption? Singer, Margaret Singer, want to wipe you out. Okay. The abortion thing, right? Right. So I want to wipe you out. So why are they doing this? Because they're trying to wipe you out completely. But because you're the children of the Most High, they can't do it. Okay? And the Most High always has it backfired. When the crack came out, what did they try to do? They tried to wipe you out. And it backfired on them. Now they got fentanyl. And the Most High got them back with fentanyl, right? Because they, their children are on fentanyl, opioids, and everything, man. Got him back. That's the most high. See? If you wait for the most high, he will bring vengeance on your enemies if you wait for the most high. So discernment. Alright? We gotta we gotta be patient with the most high. You have to be patient. The most high hate a hasty spirit. So knowledge, with knowledge, great knowledge, come great responsibility. To whom much is given, much is required. Great responsibility. You're held accountable. You're the children of Israel. And the most I want you to be an example of being the children of Israel and being his people. But when you're not that example, the most I will spew you out of his mouth and he will destroy you. So if Jews is a carrot, God had to be destroyed. If you offend any one of these little ones, Yahweh Shai said, you may go take a millstone upon your neck and be and be choked and be hung and cast into the ocean. And that's what happened to him, come? Huh? Alright? That's what happened. So we gotta remember that even amongst ourselves. Don't offend one of these young brothers, all right, one of these young sisters. Don't offend them, right? And the, and the most I don't care long you've been in the truth, do not offend. Don't misuse the congregation. Don't abuse the congregation because that's an offense, okay? And you hear that these brothers in some of these camps that are doing it. That's an offense. And the most I don't get them back for it. Just be patient. It's coming. <laughs> Just be patient, okay? So with great knowledge, go ahead, huh? Verse 28, even a fool... Even a what? Even a fool. A what? Even a fool, when he holds his peace, is counted wise. See, even a fool, when he holds his peace, is counted kind of wise. How about that? So hold your peace. You have knowledge, you have wisdom, you have understanding. Get knowledge, get knowledge and wisdom, and above all, have understanding. Get understanding. So hold your peace, right? Even a fool is accounted wise if he just don't say nothing, right? How about that? See. Well, when they brought Yahweh Shai up to Pontius Pilate, what did Yahweh Shai say? He didn't say too much, did he? Pontius Pilate said, look, don't you know I have the power to kill you? Yahweh Shai said, well, okay, thou sayest. Then he said, Yahweh Shai said, what? You would have no power except was given you by the Spirit of the Most High. Didn't he say that? Then Yahweh Shai shut back up. He did. You know, he said, uh, Yahweh Shai, what is truth? <laughs> You know, what did Yahweh Shai don't say nothing? Didn't say nothing because Yahweh Shai knew that you're not going to understand anyway. You, you, you're the devil, the Bible speaks of. I, that ain't too much I got to say to you. Right? The, the greater responsibility is on the one that sent me to you. <laughs> right? That was all people that said, crucify him and crucify him and let his blood be in us and our children. The, the, greater, the greater sin was on us for doing that. God, go ahead, I'll finish it. And he that shut up his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. Okay. He that shut his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. Now get the one in 1 Corinthians 11, 19. 
And this is what Elder Karash is going to bring out, okay? So we're just doing it for you. Go ahead, up. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 19. For there must be also heresies among you. There must be what? Heresies among you. Why there must be heresies amongst us? Men and brothers or sisters coming out with lies, backbiting, right? Bringing out, bringing out uh, other brothers that don't, they don't want you to bring it out, but you're bringing out their information. That they confided in you, right? And you, you like a, a backstabber, bringing it out. Come? And they say, you know, it's a heresy. It's a lie. It's wicked. It's evil. But there must be heresies amongst us. Why? Go ahead, Doc. That they which are approved may be made men. How about that? You hear all these different doctrines coming out now? All these different doctrines that are coming out. Brothers are changing up the Hebrew. Brothers don't know about Paul. Brothers don't know about certain books. Brothers, and they're bringing it all out, casting doubt on the congregation. That's not good. Next thing you know, you have a heresy. Come, you have lies. So that's not good. So now the Lord said, it must, that must needs to happen for what? Those of you that have proved could be manifest. Come? Because a lot, a, lot, a lot of times a lot of people do what? As soon as as soon as uh, confusion come in, right? You want to run. But the ones who are what? Manifest. The ones who are faithful will do what? Stay and face it and deal with it. And try to bring order to it. Come? That's what the most I want to see. Didn't Yahweh Shai have 70 disciples also? He had the 12 and the 70. What happened to the 70? Yahweh Shai said, nothing's impossible with the most high. Okay? With man, things are impossible. With the most high, nothing is impossible. The 70 all of a sudden turned to Yahweh Shai and said, We out. We out of here. And then Yahweh Shai, and yet the 70 had what? Spiritual power. Power to cast out demons and everything, right? But they still left him. How about that? So, but the, he turned to the 12th and said, What? You're going to leave me also? So, Yahweh Shai is looking for what? He's looking for the ones of us that are what now prepared to build the kingdom, build the uh, nation of Israel, re uh, uh, re resolve issues. Can we be a resolver instead of a runner away, being hasty running? You want to go to camp and camp and camp? No, he wants you to be a resolver of issues. Come. Right. That's why he told Moses, and it wasn't Moses, you get your men like yourself, leaders and officers like yourself. Amongst the people that can help build and resolve some of the issues of Israel. Because the issues that we're having is not going to stop. Until we get out of it. Right, huh? Right. Is it going to stop? No. So where are you running at? Do you run when your children come, uh, come against you in your household and they got all kinds of problems, right? Do you run out the house? No, you got you to deal with it. And if you don't deal with it, what's it going to do? It's going to uh, topple your household, right? Going to topple your house. You got to deal with it right there. Son, come here. Let me talk to you. Your daughter, daughter, come here. Let me talk to you right now. And you resolve it. You have a, a council, have a family meeting, whatever you got to do to resolve it. So the same thing we got to do now. This is what the most I'm looking for. Okay? So with that, the next brother is going to come. So let's say, Kwame Shalom! Okay. Hallelujah. 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 There you go. Hey, listen, I'm going to keep this short, and I'm going to just expound on what these uh, brothers are saying. Um, There's a lot of knowledge and wisdom, and the spirit of the most high is flowing um, in here today. Um, give me Proverbs 3 and uh, 1. I'm going to read this. And uh, one thing the brothers are saying, I'm going to expound on, you can't get away with uh, what has uh, always worked uh, for us. We can't get away with that. You know, that's what that's what we go off at. You know, the same things that Moses used and the same things that, that was written in his Bible, we can't get away with we can't get away from that. Okay, so that's the problem with a lot of brothers um, today. You know, nobody's gonna name drop or nothing like that. But when we get away from the law, statutes, and commandments, okay, that's what we, you know, that's what we take a loss, man. 
All right, there's only what brothers want to talk about, the distance from the moon, and you know, Pharaoh had 19 toes, and you know, the circumference of the earth, and that's what, it, it, right, 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 and that's what the tears people from this right here, right? You know, just take your time, the most I said, the race isn't to the what? To the sweat, right, you gotta take your time, and you gotta pace yourself for this thing, man, because if you go a little bit too fast, you're gonna miss the whole thing, all right, because the most I gives different gifts, Okay, to each brother. He's not going to give the same gift to this brother over here. He's not going to give the same gift to that brother over there, okay? But we're one body, okay? The feet can't do what the hand do, okay? The hand can't do what the shoulder do. The shoulder can't do what the toes do, okay? So once you recognize your gift and once you recognize your office, then what? You stand in that and you do the best that you can at. Perfect that right there. Even if you know one scripture, even if you know one scripture, okay, in the Bible, and that's what you're good at right there, stand on that right there, man. Be the best in that right there. Don't try to go to the library, man, and start searching out books too high. Most of tells you that in the Ecclesiastes, he said, what? He said, there are many books, okay? He said, be admonished of the making of many books. He said, there's no end, all right? He says, weariness of the flesh, man. So a lot of times, y'all brothers, y'all start to seek knowledge that's a little bit above you, okay? As soon as you stumble, okay, up to the word Gentiles, and then you start going to the Roman Empire, then you start saying Esau's face, then it just throws them all up. Yeah, then you know, man, they done walked out the congregation, man. Ah, man, man. I'm going back to listen to Deacon Fatback, man. Okay? Right in that church again, man. Because why? Because you didn't pace yourself, okay? You didn't study to show yourself approved. And most of all, you didn't ask none of the elders for help, man. Okay, you didn't ask nothing else for a lot, a lot. I'm not saying you brothers up in here, okay, but that's where a lot of brothers get thrown off at. When you just pace yourself, you pace yourself. Each of these brothers up here got 20 years plus, okay. I look, when I came to One West in 89, okay, I didn't meditate, so it took me about 12 years to realize Esau was the devil, man. 12 years, after 12 years, I said, damn, my goodness, man, Esau is the damn devil, man. <laughs> after, 12, after 12 years I've been there, I said, man, I had to gain that experience, man. I had to gain that experience, all right? Read Proverbs uh, 3 and 1, um, uh, Glock. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1. That's right. My son, uh, forget not my Lord. Yeah, the most I mentions uh, man and he mentions son. All right, a lot of women always say, no, that was talking to you, okay, that was talking to me. No, the most I left it up to man, okay, to deal with the woman. Okay, so whatever a man's supposed to know, okay, the woman is supposed to know. That's right. Okay, because the most I left us accountable, okay, for y'all. So when the most I say, my son, and he says, man, it don't mean that it's just us that he's talking to. Y'all get away from it. Y'all not going to be held accountable. No. Okay, you're supposed to get your instruction, your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, okay, from your husband. Okay, so it's like whatever we know, okay, your woman, she's one with you, you're supposed to know as well, too. All right, so the most I read it again, Clark. My son. My son. Okay, let's talk about the woman, too. Go ahead. Forget not my Lord. We ain't forgetting nothing, man. Okay, the white man tell you forget black history. Okay, we ain't forgetting this history right here, man. Right. So called white man can forget about it, man. Like I said um, last night, man, y'all don't got uh, the people out in the world, they got no problem all day long. They have protest this and, and that, but your kids go to school every damn day and they still teaching about George Washington, man. Right. You know how many slaves George Washington had, Thomas Jefferson had, man, okay? And nobody says nothing. Nobody says nothing about that, man. You'd rather argue with us and talk about right. how we talk and how we speak, and we speak too rough, but your kids get lied to right. every day by right. Satan, man. Right. Yep. Nobody lines up for that. Nobody says nothing, okay? Not saying the teachers that's in here that teach better, all right? But nobody says nothing. But you give us hell on them damn streets. Uh, you give us hell, man, on them streets. I don't know what y'all talking about. And you send your kid right to a damn Catholic school, man. Learn more lies from the devil. Don't worry about it. I need to do it, man. Okay, you'll learn more lies from the devil, man. Okay, keep on reading, Glock. But let thine heart keep my commandments. Yeah, the most I say you're supposed to keep these commandments. Okay, go ahead, King. For length of days and long life. Yeah, the most I said, listen, he said, all right, read it again. For length of days. And long life. Yeah, if you listen, that's common sense. Okay, a lot of brothers try to get too ahead of themselves. Okay, the most I say, you keep these commandments. Okay, and you got you're gonna have a long life. Okay, because everything is in the book. Okay, your diet. Okay, how do you behave? Okay, even being nosy's in the Bible. <laughs> everything, everything's in the Bible. When you read the book of Ecclesiastes and Apocrypha, it's about 
20 scriptures on there about being nosy, man. All right? I buy my business. I, I can do what I want to do. I can hang in there, man. The most I said, don't meddle in other man and other people's affairs, man. Right. All right? That's about being nosy, man. Don't worry about what the next sister's wearing and what she's doing. Worry about yourself. Right. All right? Don't worry about what the other brother's doing. Worry about yourself. And you get yourself in order with the most high in these scriptures right here. Because at the end of the day, that's what's going to hold you accountable. That's what's going to sustain you. Okay? The hell with us arguing and fighting and all the damn corner. Okay, I'm going to this brother's doing this stuff. What about these commandments, man, at the end of the day? What about these right here? You didn't gave me, you didn't gave your brother a black eye, a bad back, feet, toes, cut him up, shot at him. What about the commandments? At the end of the day, that the most I told us to keep. The problem I want to talk about that though, Elder Barack. Okay, Barack. In peace, uh Shall they add to the, yeah, the most I said, they're going to add, okay, on to the length of your days, man. You hard-headed, okay, you don't, you, take, you don't take heed to this Bible right here. The most I tells you to stay away from your enemies. You bring Katie home if you want to, okay? The most I told you about that. You sisters, if you know somebody on your job named Zach, <laughs> Stay away from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can touch you on that name right there. Right there. Okay? Yeah. 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 Good. Alright, so he said he went Esau. Okay, he did the movie Get Out. Alright, you know it, all of them, all of them. All, all of the murderers, they came to Zach, man. Every time they go to the store, they got some weapons. That was a pack. They took it together, man. I bought a team, sold off rifle. What's your name? Zach. Give me some of that scene, that spray. What's your name? Zach. All of them. That's a code. That's a code that he's going to Stay away from him. Run! Yeah, come on. Let not mercy and truth for safety. Uh, Bind them about thy neck. Yeah, the most I said, bind them about your neck. Even if you got a camera around on your neck, man. Okay, write them down. Write them down, man. Good. Write them upon the table of thine heart. Yeah, write them upon the table. Put them on your refrigerator. You're supposed to meditate on these laws, man. Day in and day and night. You're supposed to meditate on these laws, man. All right, good. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of the most high. That's right. I know everybody want good favor. Everybody wants good favor from the most high, man. Right. Okay, it's a reward that comes behind that, man. You're not doing this for nothing. Okay, if you think you see the brothers out there, man, in Virginia Beach teaching, you think they're doing this for nothing? Brothers in Delaware, especially in Monaco over in Ghana, they're giving them pure hell over there in Ghana. You think these brothers are doing that for nothing? In the heat, okay? <laughs> you get another tongue out there to them people? That's hard, brother. That's hard. Elder Mathalko be doing it. Ain't hey, nobody give Elder Mathalko a hand. That's right! Because in Ghana, when we were there, when I was there, uh, I'm teaching a class, and they're looking at me funny. I'm like, what are they looking at me like that for? My dog said, Barack, you got to interpret. You got to. And I need an interpreter. Well, I don't know the language, but he said he had brothers there to interpret that know their language and English. So I said, oh, that's why you're looking at me kind of funny. But still, to be able to build a camp like, like Mathatu who got a 30, 40 man camp, come. 50 plus camp, right? School 50 plus brothers, all right, in Ghana. And these are all Israelites over there, right, come? And he used an interpreter at the same time he teaches, he teaches them English. Because a lot of them, they do know English, but some of them is not as good. But then he has the interpreter right next to him and say, interpret what I just brought out. So that takes, that takes an extra effort, right? To be able to build a school like that, but he's done it. So all praise to the most side for that. That's right. And done. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Most High with all thine heart. Read that again. Trust in the Most High with all read thine it, heart. Read it again. Trust in the Most High with all thine heart. Most High said trust in him, okay, with all your heart, man. Okay? Before you trust in the entertainer, Cat, I'm sick of him, man. I still got him. I, I got it. I'm sorry, Dr. Elton. Dr. Cat Williams, I'm sick of him, man. Okay? Here it is. You didn't have a man. Okay, they got her on an interview and got how many, how, how many, 60 million views, man. Okay, 60 million views. That's a lot of views, man. 
Okay, he got on there, man, and if these name dropped a bunch of entertainers, Cat Williams didn't say nothing we've been saying for decades, man. Right? Yep. We've been saying, we've been saying how you saw get down and how black entertainers are, man. I know the camps, I know y'all camps, y'all go raw on that, man. But as soon as Cat Williams get on there and start name dropping, listen, it didn't matter, it don't matter if Cat Williams get 200 million views. You still got blacks in poverty. You still got more black crime. Yeah. You still got black drug sales. You still got homeless blacks out there, Puerto Ricans and Latinos and natives. The unemployment rate for blacks. It's a, so what was the what was the sense of him getting up there, name dropping people? Okay, when you still got the you still got the curses. Okay, that's still on us. When you got a platform like that and you can reach sixty million people, at least say the real Jews are black. Oh. At least. Yeah, because he dropped many times. He dropped uh, types or, or donations off to different camps, various camps. They say he is generous, but let me say this: to to be up on that level, and and also when he was in, being interviewed by Club Shay Shay, right? You know, <laughs> Club Shay Shay. Okay. Look, and his whole thing was about some of the comedians who wear dresses and all that. You know that, all right? That's a ritualistic thing. And East Coast world, they wear a dress, they're going to they gonna reward you handsomely, right? But let's say Cat Williams didn't wear a dress, but did Cat Williams still sell out on that level to get what he got? Yes, he did. There's different levels of selling out in East Coast world. You don't just have to wear a dress. I'm, I'm going to tell you, you don't just have to be a, a homosexual either. To sell, there's different levels of selling out in East Coast world. Come, so in, in order to, for uh, Shannon Sharp interview uh, Cat Williams, that was an uh, that was an Illuminati ritualistic uh, interview. That's what that was. Okay, come, and he dropped name again. Of course, he dropped everybody's name, all his comedians. Okay, and he was bringing out different things that happened, and they were stealing his uh, uh, material and everything. Okay, that was all a ritualistic, that interview was all about that. Come? So there's different levels of it. So, so what, Cat Williams? Well, who gave Cat Williams the authority to bring out the truth? Okay, and they always use the comedians. Even, even Malcolm X said how, how uh, Esau, the so-called white man, is always bringing out, uh, using comedians to try to bring out uh, the uh, fortunes and, and misfortunes of black folk, or uh, being a big spokesman or leaders of black folk. Okay, even Malcolm X said that, and they do, don't they? They always use comedians. Yes. The worst of the bunch <laughs> that's up there. Okay, great, uh, go on. Right, cut, cut, right. Uh, I got, hey, I'm not gonna be long, I think I got one more. And um, at the same time, too, just to build on what Elder Barack said, uh, comedians, uh, sports, Athletes, um, and then you know you may have guys like Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry made it easy for us to accept, okay, the ways of transgenders, man, by making us laugh. Okay, when you got years and years and years and years and years of somebody making on um, television, and you seeing a man in a dress, man in a dress, he that's softening the blow. Okay, that's softening, that's softening the blow. Listen, the Most High said, teach your kids, okay, in the way that they're gonna go. We don't do that in here. Okay, we don't we don't teach our kids to accept. Okay, transgender, or they have a choice. Okay, but if you go outside this Bible right here, if you go outside this book right here, you in trouble. That's when you're in trouble right here. Okay, right. and the most I'm gonna explain. Go on down to seven, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Proverbs chapter three, verse seven. Uh -huh. Be not wise in thine own eyes. That's it right there. The most I said, be not wise. Okay, read it again. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Yeah, or oh, your opinion. <laughs> Most of us said, don't be wise in your own eyes, man. Okay, meaning you, nobody has an opinion. I don't have one. None of y'all got one. You ain't got a choice. Either do right or you don't. Either you want to live or you want to die. Yeah. Simple as that, man. It's not, it's not a hard choice. The most of us give you, you want to live or you want to die. Simple as that. You pick your choice. I know the choice I want. I know a lot of y'all here don't want to die. I see Cadillacs. I see you escalates outside. No, a lot of y'all don't want to come back here. Yeah, I ain't see that. I ain't see that. Okay, you need to get the point. Porches, we see out there. You need to get the top of that. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Listen, the most I said, be not wise in your own eyes. Listen, 
Don't be ashamed to reach out for help. A brother, you look, let me say this. The best thing you can do, okay, if you got a brother that got a certain talent, okay, amongst you, reach out to the brother. We don't know everything, God. Don't be ashamed to me. Look, Ben, let me, boom. I reached out to, to Elder Ben. I had a question, okay, about two weeks ago. Who did I reach out to? Don't I text you? I text this man all the time. Things I don't know. Hey, Ben, what about this right here? Bum, bum, bum. And he gets right back to me quick, man. This man been in the truth, what, 30 what? 37 years, I've been in 35. We don't know everything. Don't be ashamed to reach out to your brothers, okay? If you don't know us. Sisters, don't be ashamed to reach out to your sisters. If you don't know anything, you know it. That's the building, okay, the building block, okay? And that's the network. And that's the people who think that we got amongst each other. We're not like Esau and the other nations out there, okay? We got love, like Elder I said, the pre shock and I said. We got love, okay, amongst each other, okay? We've got empathy towards one another, and that's something that we got to practice all the time. Don't leave here and forget that, man. Don't leave. Don't leave nobody here and forget that. Communicate with one another. Call up a brother. Call up a sister. Hey, I love you. Okay, what can I do for you? How can I serve you? Okay, because that's what we're about, man. Esau, the devil, we deal with him all seven days a week. Some of y'all brothers work 12-hour shifts, man. Okay, we get tired of toiling and, and working for the devil, man. So we got to come amongst each other. Okay, and see the same thing, man? Faces all screwed up, looking at each other. What's mad for, man? We got a glorious day coming to us, man. What are you mad for, man? All right, the most time about to tear this place up. And we're staring at each other, look all up there, man. Sisters looking at each other, and look up there, man, for what? For what? Mad for what? Yeah, yeah, you got your hand on the for what? It's <laughs> okay, you around, man. And this is it. I'm going. Okay. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Most I said, be not wise in your own eyes. Okay. Right. You ain't got a choice. Go ahead. Fear the Most High. Most I said, fear Him. That's what we fear. Okay. That's what you got better fear. Okay. Up in here, the Most I said, fear the Most High. Go ahead. Okay. And depart from me. And depart from evil, man. Okay. And we all know I'm not going to get into a thing because I'm I'm done. Okay. About how the so-called white man gets that. And look, let me say this right before I leave. You know, it, you, you know, everybody. Everybody want to know about the the, the the playoffs, man. You know, and what's that woman name again, man? I gotta bring this up. What's that singer name again? Kansas City Chiefs. She be in the stands. Yeah, Taylor Taylor Swift. Swift. Nobody knows who it is. Who? Taylor Swift. There you go. I knew you knew Shalom. Taylor Swift. You let that look, and, and don't my boyfriend play something like that, Shalom? There you go. Right. Well, my point is, my point is this, man. You let that be Mary J and, and Cam Newton. They wouldn't get a, a, a press. Not nah. Okay? All right, but all that's all geared toward Esau, the commercialization. Okay, the booster up, the booster sales up, man. And literally, y'all know they pay for that time, man. That's you think right. the camera the NFL, they're going to keep handing on her for no right. reason. Every time a boyfriend do something, they're going to keep handing on her, man. That's all just the booster sales over y'all. That's all it is, man. Why she get so much press? They showing her and Kelsey all the damn time, man. Okay, you let that be, you let that be Mike Vick and Lil' Kim. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. And with that, that's my time. I'm going to hand it over to El Mbappa. Hallelujah. 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 It's going to be clock on the top. All right, you know, we got a couple of scriptures. All right. Bam, read for them. Bam, read for them. Huh. Okay, yeah, go ahead, Clark. Kind of, kind of. We're going to go into uh, Genesis chapter 17. We're going to keep it on the Lord. I'm noticing a lot of people don't realize uh, how important circumcision is. Like we just read in Proverbs chapter 3 that we can't forget the Lord, that we got to keep this. How uh, Priest Yach and I read in Deuteronomy 30, how we're going to get into our land by keeping that Lord. we got to come back to it. A lot of people don't realize that we gotta come back to the circumcision. Very important, very important. So we're gonna get Genesis chapter 17, and we're gonna start at verse 7. The book of Genesis, chapter 17, and verse 7. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee, in their generations, for an everlasting covenant. We gotta keep in mind this is an everlasting covenant. The Most High gave us a promise that we'll get that land. That token of that promise is that um, that circumcision. Right? This is an everlasting covenant. We got to come back to this. A lot of people take Paul's words 
and misconstrue and not understanding what he's saying. He's not teaching against circumcision at all. Okay? Keep on reading. To be a power unto thee, mm -hmm. and to thy seed after thee. Right, this is an ongoing thing. Us and our seed after us, read. And I will give unto thee, and to thy seed after thee, the land where within thou art a stranger. This is the promise most I gave. He's going to give us that land where we was a stranger at, right? Read. All the land of Canaan mm -hmm. for an everlasting possession. Uh -huh. And I will be their power. This is that covenant. Keep on. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore, thou and thy seed after thee in their generation. So he told us his part. He told us that he's going to give us our land and we're going to keep it forever, an everlasting possession. Right? Now he's going to tell us what our part is that we need to do for this. Right? This is the covenant which ye shall keep between me and you and thy seed after thee. Every man and child among you shall be circumcised. Every man and child among us must be circumcised. Right? This is the law. Read. And ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin. Mm -hmm. And it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. This is that covenant between us and the Most High. He's going to go in and show you how important this is, though. Right, we all? And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you. So that's a, that's a covenant right there. You got to be at eight days year old, you need to be circumcised, right? Now, a lot of us come into this truth not, ro not realizing and have to get circumcised later on. You have to get circumcised regardless. We know that Abraham was 90 years old when he got circumcised, right? right? So we got to do this. No matter how old you are, you have to get this done, right? We don't. Every man child in your generation. Mm -hmm. He that is born in the house or bought with money so, of, so I can, uh, of all Israel and those that belong to us, right? We don't money of any stranger which is not of thy seed. Mm -hmm. He that is born in thy house and he that is bought with thy money must needs to be circumcised. Our people, all our people and our servants need to be circumcised really. and my covenant shall be in your flesh mm -hmm. for an everlasting covenant yeah, I see that right an everlasting covenant this never went away so we got to keep this covenant really. and the uncircumcised so like, and the uncircumcised man child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised that soul shall be cut off from his people right. he have broken my covenant. That's the breaking of the covenant. We already know the Most High don't change. What he says, he means. He say what he means, he means what he says. So he meant that. We have to get circumcised, right? I want to jump somewhere else real quick. Ezekiel chapter 44. Ezekiel chapter 44. We're going to start at 1 read verse 9. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 44 and verse 9. Thus saith the Lord God, no stranger uncircumcised in heart, nor uncircumcised in flesh. Now we read in Deuteronomy 30, we see that the uncircumcision of the heart, or the circumcision of the heart, didn't come from both. First time we see that is with Moses. We see that here also in the Old Testament, where it's talking about circumcised of the heart, and of, and of the flesh, right? Read that again. Thus saith the Lord God, no stranger, uncircumcised in heart, uh -huh. nor uncircumcised in flesh, shall enter into my sanctuary. This is the future, the, in the future. This is the future attempt. He says, no stranger, uncircumcised in heart, or flesh, shall enter his um, sanctuary. So we know that this is an ongoing thing, right? Of any stranger that is among the children of Yasha Allah. And with that, I give all praise to the Most High. Okay, that was Kalak Rakal. He brought you something out of Genesis, went to Ezekiel.
Okay, so the next brother up is Elder Mathathua. All right. Elder Mathathua now resides in Ghana, but originally from Jamaica. So Elder Mathathua, you're next. So like real quick before you go forward, if you don't mind. And even with the, the eldest sisters are able to teach the younger sisters, but even those elder sisters are learning from, from men, from young men. So I just wanted to clarify that. It's what the elder sisters, as the scripture states, they can teach the younger one. That's their, their purpose, their instructions are supposed to go forward to the younger sisters. With that, I hear you. Hallelujah. All right, this is the book of uh, Exodus 34 and 23. Thrice in the year shall all your men, men ch uh, children, appear before the Most High Yahweh. So when they say men, you mean both men and female men. Because when you read in the book of Samuel, Samuel's father was taking up both his wife. And Samuel's mother never had enough to give. So we all know that we all should know that story, can huh? uh, So now the most I and keep in mind in Exodus, we were still in the wilderness. We were still in the wilderness getting the law. So the most I said, three times in the year shall the children of Israel do what? Appear before it. Read on. The power of Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, 24. For I will cast out the nations. What the most I said? For I will cast out the nations 
before thee. So the most I was let me know before we enter the land, said the nation was there. So it was no purpose for the nation to be cast out if we not there. So the most I let us know when we go in, he went kick them what? Out. Really? And enlarge thy borders. And do what? And enlarge thy borders. He gave us the entire earth. Because we have to remember the quarter design. But the globe is ours. Amen. Keep that in mind. This earth was created for our sake and our sake only. That's right. right. So Ben, Psalms 91, quickly please, sir. Let's show you something in Psalms 91. Number 5. You want to talk about 5, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. The book of Psalms 91, verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid. What the most I said the black man should not do? Thou shalt not be afraid. Don't be afraid, brothers. If you praise the true and living God, don't be afraid. Right. Because every nation of a God, but our king is the only one that conquered death. So we cannot be fearful. Read, sir. For the terror by night, mm -hmm. nor for the arrow that flies by day. Verse 6. Uh, nor for the pestilence mm -hmm. that walketh in darkness. So the most I said, oh, no, brothers and sisters in the back hearing me? Uh, All right. So the most I said, we cannot be afraid of the terror, of the pestilence, and all these things. Why? Read on. I'll give you again the sixth verse. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, mm -hmm. nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. So the destruction coming. Keep in mind, when Joshua entered Jericho, the wall had to fall. But brothers and sisters become religious. We have a purity of kingdom in mind. Who mentioned the kingdom? Ash was the one who mentioned the kingdom, the temple. How glorious the temple of Israel was. So when Yahweh tell them one stone will not be there, they were offended. Do you understand me? So the most I tell you, all these things coming up on the earth, so as children, we cannot be afraid. Read on. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. Read. But it shall not come nigh thee. Look at this. So you see that fulfilling as we speak. Because war is on every continent and globe of this earth. Majority of Russia is Asia, isn't it? Russia, Ukraine, Ukraine is more in Europe, right? America is bombing Yemen as we speak now. So the Red and Yemen been fighting for years. So the most I telling us, all this destruction will take place on this earth. But the fearful and praise over God. Read, sir. Only. With thy eye. What the most I said? Only with thy eye. What will we do? Shall thy behold and see the reward of the wicked? That's 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 why Zakwan asked the question. Why are we mad? Why are we mad? We see all these things coming and we say, brother, fearful. When the most I tell us, we shall see with our eyes the judgment of the wicked. Right. Because the war has to start in Zion. Because the rulership for the so-called black man, Hispanic, native people, come from Jerusalem. Give me St. John 5, man. Last couple of scripture. So we go in the Torah. We go in the prophet. Let's go in the gospel. All right, St. John, the fifth, St. John, the fifth chapter. Mm -hmm. The first verse. And we'll begin at the first verse, St. Um, John chapter 5, verse 1. I know some of you are looking and see a different scripture in this year, but it was a mixed typo. All right, so you just call out Shalom on a witch. And you still try to figure out if you can make the Shalom might think it was a sabotage. <laughs> I'm looking like, ah, he will check his phone. This is what he gave me. I said, ah, no, he check his phone. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. So don't look at this part. So read from it, Ben. All right, we're in the book of St. John, chapter 5, verse 1. Mm -hmm. 
Because Ash down there looking at me, and so Ash was like, you're not in Matthew 19, so let me come up with that. I never give stuff like that, <laughs> After this, there was a feast of the Judites. Mm-hmm. When and you say Jews, Jews just mean Judite. So that's why earlier when somebody teach and they said, for I mentioned, the Romans take seven years to fight out the Zealots. Mm-hmm. It was just three tribes. Because, bam, along with Ephraim, decided to go find a new land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's still waiting for them to find that land to keep the land. Right? So he left us. Benjamin Judah, and some of these I went with you two bam, so I didn't come with you. <laughs> so it was Benjamin oh, ben, and oh. Judah <laughs> and some of Levites in the land, and we still could resist right. for seven years. When you go to Masada, Esau will tell you they were throwing six hundred pound rocks up the hill. Yeah. You understand me? <laughs> we see to city for three years and we all out as long as we could. So for that war, three of us, and, and even in Israel now, we see the Gaza, two million people, and Israel just be banning. They, those white people are just scared. <laughs> you understand me? Because when the first bomb dropped, we all was in Israel. We had no brothers and we were there. So we thought it was the military that was training, because we always hear commotion. So when they come up, we see rockets in the sky and all these things. Those white people scared as hell. Uh, yeah, because a war was sitting at the airport and they came and they tell them, they tell them because when the war started we couldn't get gas, food, nothing. nothing. Because Israel is a military state. That's right. That's, That's right. right. The state of Israel. So everybody is trained. Even the little midget then you see have guns. <laughs> <laughs> so that station, everything goes. So when we go to the airport, they tell them, when you finish your ship, join with the military. Because the war was the one that did the video. I let the white boy fake man. <laughs> so I was there motivating him. You love Israel, right? <laughs> 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 I was at the airport, I was giving him motivation and speed. <laughs> That's so funny, boy. I was there to lose your time. He was. <gasps> I'll be giving water to drink again. I said, if you love it that much, go fight for it, man. You couldn't stand on his feet. And even in the news, you can see Americans in Afghanistan for over 10 years. And Israel dropped more bomb in the Gaza more than America dropped in Afghanistan. How scared those white people are. As soon as the war started, the airport was filled up. The airport was full of yeah. yeah. Everybody trying to disappear. So I was in the airport asking, so nobody could fight for it. <laughs> <laughs> you understand me? So now, what Ben reading in St. John 5, verse 1, it was a feast of the Judites. Right? When they do the history, you find out that this was the first fruits. Mm-hmm. It was a feast of Pentecost. And you can prove that in Acts 2 with what will take place here. Read on, sir. And Yahusha. Went up to Yerushalayim. So it was always the law. You go up to where the temple is when they come on to the three major feasts. Read. Now they were at Jerusalem by the sheep uh, market, uh, sheep market pool, mm-hmm. which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethphedia. Read, sir. Having five porches. Having how many porches? Five porches. So it was five different porches of pool. So even though you see Esau in that land. From he was there night before 1948, brothers. It's a majority of them went there in 1948. Esau was in that land from the 1800 and a Sumal level. He have not built back these yet. Do you understand? He have no pool like this in Jerusalem or in Tel Aviv or wherever he are today. Read. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk. So uh, you have sick people around this area. Right? I'm teaching you something. Read. Of blind. Of who? Of blind. Blind. Halt. Mm-hmm. Withered. Read. Waiting for the moving of the water. So what will happen at Feast of Pentecost? What will happen for the water to move? Read. For an angel. For a who? For an angel. For an who? Went down at a certain season for the into the of, pool. For the Feast of Pentecost to do what? 
and trouble the water. Read on. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in was made whole of whatever disease he had. At the time of Yahweh who was ruling Israel? Rome. The who? Rome. Who is ruling Israel today? Rome. So at the time of Yahweh the Romans was ruling, and the angel was still coming to do his spiritual job. What is happening in Israel today? The angel is still doing what he has to do. Guess who is not home? Guess who is not home for this? Israel. <laughs> you cannot go to the doctor. The doctor gives you a million medication while the angel is coming in Zion to heal. Because at the time of Yahweh, the Romans was ruling. Herod was king. And the angel was still doing what he had to do. In so called 2024, the Romans is still what? Ruling. But the most I tell in Deuteronomy 20, they'll remove you far from your father. And that's what they come of us as a nation of people. But you have to be vigilant. Right? The, the blessing is still in your land. Just like the white man in the movie Avatar. He said that people of Avatar in the land, they work together. They used to go under that tree. The land and the people. Remember they go under the tree when they fight, they go back under that tree and they heal and all that stuff? Yeah. The same thing. This is we and our land. So when they read, yeah. Um, when we went over to Israel, I've been there about four or five times. When I've been there, of course, my doctor. Was, but when we went there, one thing we realized. Um, and I think when I've been realized this, because we when we we're teaching, we realized we said, look, when the scripture talk about Zion and talk about Israel, sometimes we think it's the land, and it is talking about the land, but it's also talking about the people. Come. When, when the Most High speak about Zion, he's talking about the people sometimes, right? And he's also talking about the land. So we realize that uh, uh, Zion is a people and a place. Israel is a people and a place. Jerusalem, people and a place. Okay? You're, you're synonymous. When you say Israel, we're the real Jews, you're synonymous with the land also. Come? So like he's saying about that movie Avatar whatever, the, the, the people were one uh, spiritually with the land okay so you were in sync the land that's why the land doesn't really yield its forth its fruit to Esau he's the devil the Bible speaks of just like Zechariah said it took him 12 years to realize he's the devil now we realize he's the devil the Bible speaks of right it doesn't yield its force we've been to the Jordan River and we noticed that there were there were pipes or whatever it was along the mountains I said well why just pipes along the mountains See where these pipes are going. So they, they can bring water from other areas into Jerusalem. And into the hotels. And into the hotels. There's no water coming over there. It rained. What? We got over there, it rained like once, for the year. once a year. And it rained. It rained hard. When we got to the hotel, the woman said, it never rains like that. Who are you, brothers? It never rains like that. That's what she said. We have to talk to her, right? Yeah. Yeah. Brothers and sisters in Demona, they were witness to it. Because when we went to Demona the next day, the brothers and sisters in Demona said, we were wondering why it was raining like that last night. Right. right? So they are witness. Do you understand me? So as Barak was saying, we want to finish. We become one with our land. But now it's a big separation. Because so many people said, Israel is in South Africa. <laughs> So um when I went to Ghana, I went to I went, I went into Ghana, I started to go into the libraries. Because when you go to a country, that's what you do. And I started to study up and the brother said, Israel is in South Africa. I said, ah. What was the name of South Africa before it became South Africa? The brother don't know that. So I said, Israel, South Africa is Israel, and you don't know the name, you don't know no history on it? <laughs> brother said, Peru is Israel. Brother said, Kenya is Israel. So I'm asking them, <laughs> Tanzania, I've been to Tanzania, great history. So I asked, I asked brothers, when you read the Bible, the Bible tells you 
that the spies that went into Israel first year Canaan and bring back false report, the most I said they should not, they should just sit down. But they walked through the salt sea and died. So the salt sea is in Israel. You use water for land mass. Where's the salt sea in Peru? <laughs> In South Africa. In South Africa. <laughs> in Kenya. Um, Sister Shara, um, Kahan Rib. Uh, some of you sisters, you all went to the South Sea, can? Huh? Brother Shalama went to the South Sea. Mm -hmm. Right? So we see, we, you use water mass to mark wherever you are in the planet Earth. You understand me? Because I ask a question if you cross the chart and all the hell are in South Africa? I don't see that part here journey. Do you know far so that you can from Jordan? 20, 24, man. You understand me? So now, what we say is, as Yakan I mentioned one word, we can see the most high perch in our land today. Okay. But are we ready? Because the land being purged, somebody has to be inside. Can I can't be lonely. Can the most high say, send us out for the land to rest? Aren't you worn out? 400 years, aren't we worn out? No. Well, brothers, the land resting up. The land resting, the land ready to get up and stretch like that sleeping lion now. <laughs> in the rehabilitation, did the Bible tell you that Judah is gone into captivity? Nobody coming for the solemn feast? So now the land waking up, the land calling back the Judahites, the Levites, the Ephraimites, the land calling back all of his children. So when you see this purging going on, be prepared and get ready. And the Bible said the saints go marching in. The Bible said the saints go marching in. That's right. Psalms 126, David said, our mouth was filled with laughter. Because we were thinking we in a dream. Because now, Zach, it's time for Zach and <laughs> Because his time is up on the earth. Right. And this so called war, oh, everybody hide. Because no history book, no way named Israel before 1948. Right. So it opened a lot of people's eyes. So, brother, sisters, we know they're going to get, they, they, they get tough sometimes. Yes. We know it. But remember that 40 years you spent in the wilderness. Right. But when Solomon was king, as the Rafa came, and as what Rafa said, the most I said when King Solomon was king, the nation of Israel lacked nothing. So this journey that we're going through, when we reach that land the second time, we will lack nothing, brothers and sisters. Wow. So give a round Uh, there's something significant too has to happen for us to see and it's going to happen in what they call the so-called Middle East. There's something major that has to happen in the so-called Middle East. I want you all to take a shot of it. Something major and significant and it's a major geographical event that's going to take place in the so-called Middle East. Who want to take a shot of it? <laughs> Who want to take a shot? Yeah. The Euphrates River? Ah, that's it. That's it, man. That's it. The Euphrates River. Where's that Euphrates River dry up? It's on, baby. It's no turning back. It's going down. Shalom. Is it dry up? Yes. Everything is dry up. It's, 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 it's drying up, man. It's dry. Not a drop of water, man. Okay? 
and that's prophesied by the Most High. Okay? So, Kwame Shawa! with Captain Bam of No Cap. Give Captain Bam a applause. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Fuck that Shalom. Hey, man, it's good seeing everyone here, man. It's uh, a truly a blessing. I'm honored uh, to see everyone here. The water for coming. I know it was a sacrifice. All praise to the Most High. So the water, I salute every single one of you. Um, Real quick, before we get started, just a raise of hands. How many Northern Kingdom brothers and sisters are here today? How many Southern Kingdom brothers and sisters are here today? Okay, all praises. This is how you know Yahweh Shai is here. In the book of Ezekiel, it says that there shall no longer be two kingdoms, but one kingdom. Huh? This is how you know the spirit of a Mashiach and Halashai is here today, all right? So the water again, right? Um, we're going to go to the book of Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 1, Baba Gashem. We have a saying in no cap. It's called hashtag Sirach to life. You want an easy life? Check your DNA because you might not be of Israelite, right? Baba Gashem, what's my reading? Yes. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 1 My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation When the Lord says prepare, you prepping, right? Yes. How do you prep? Faith, fear in the Lord, doing what he's telling you to do Following the words of Amashiach We just read about our land we read about the ordinance of the law. We also need to also look at the example that Amashiach gave us, right? The master, he told us, he taught us how to conquer death. He showed us that there is a way. He is the way. He showed us that there is the light. He is the light. Huh? For centuries, we try to do it ourselves. For centuries, we didn't know how to do it ourselves. He came and taught us that. Keep, continue. Verse 2. Set thy heart aright. Set your mind right. Be prepared for that temptation. Continue. And constantly endure. The Most High says constantly endure. Hashtag Sarah to life. No? It ain't going to be easy. You're going to have difficulties in life. You're going to have faith issues. You're going to question yourself. You're going to question the scriptures. But it's that faith that's going to come back. you got to constantly endure. Look upon Yahweh Shai. What did Peter do when he was walking on water? He walked on water, but he kept his focus on Amashiach. But as soon as that wind came, as soon as the turbulence came, Fear came into him and he looked down and that was more important than looking upon a Mashiach. And what happened? He fell. And what did a Mashiach say when he picked him up? Oh ye of little faith. Keep your eyes on a Mashiach. Continue. And make not haste in time of trouble. Continue. Verse 3, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. When you're going through your issues, you may think it's the, 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 the craziest thing that's ever happening to you. Nobody's ever going through this but you. Well, the rock of the church, Peter, says that do not count a strange thing when you go to these, those adversities. Right? James says that the, the, the faith comes with works so your faith has to be bigger than your consequences your faith has to be bigger right than your circumstances than whatever you're going through it has to be bigger than that what is the formula put in the most high in Christ first 
That's the formula. Y'all want the key, the, the, what is it, the key code or whatever they call it, the, the, that is. So like, yeah, the password. That's the password. That's the formula, right? But when things get, you know, things happen to us, we tend to flow straight. Peter walked on water, y'all. Uh, I can't walk on water. I'm like a rock. I just go down. <laughs> So like you go ahead. Verse 4. Whatsoever is brought up on thee, take cheerfully uh -huh. and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Y'all gotta understand what we're going through right now is a fixed game. Y'all understand that, right? In the book of Isaiah, he says that I have declared the end from the beginning. Ain't nothing gonna happen. It already been done. It's already written. The Most High in Christ won already. He's waiting on you. He's waiting on us to get it together. He's waiting on us to continue, right? The faith in Christ. That's what he's waiting on us. Continue. Verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire. Uh -huh. And acceptable men. What, what men? And acceptable men. What women? And acceptable men. In the furnace of adversity. So when you look at the refining process of gold and you study it, the gold, when it's when it's purged or when it's clipped off, it has rocks, impurities in it. It's not just a big piece of shiny gold. It has gold in it, but it has rocks, dirt, crustaceans in it. It has to go through a refining process. That refining process has to be broken down. It has to be go through the fire for those impurities to be taken off. So when you say, I don't want to be going through anything, I'm okay. Guess what? The Most High wants to take impurities out of you when you're going through that fire. Take it cheerfully. Take it cheerfully. It's going to come to an end. But he's waiting on you. <laughs> he's waiting on you. So the impurities are coming off when you're going through that fire, whether it's lust, whether it's hate, right? Whether it's not being uh, charitable, right? Whether it's being divisional, right? These are the things that are impurities that the Most High has taken out. Do not lose that, that the, your spiritual eyes when you're going through that adversity. Continue. Verse 6. Believe in him. Do what? Believe in him. We gotta do what, Yashallah? Believe in him. <laughs> and he will help thee. He will help thee. That's a promise. Read on. All of thy way aright. Uh -huh. And trust in him. And do what? And trust in him. How many times have, do we read through the scriptures? We have to trust in the Most High. How many of y'all trusted in the Most High in that time of adversity? I can't pay my rent. I can't do this. Can't, this is coming up. We know we're going through the curses. You gotta trust in him. He told you it's gonna be okay. He told you that. So we gotta trust in the most high in Christ. Read on. Verse 7. Uh-huh. Ye that fear the most high. You got what? Ye that fear the most high. Read on. Wait for his mercy. Uh-huh. And go not ado. Lest ye fall. Lest, lest ye fail. Lest ye fail. Listen, right? fall. And fall, right? And fall just like Peter fell. But we have to continue to focus on Amashiach. No man coming to the Father but unto him. Right? He's our high priest. He's the example. He's the sacrifice. Now we have a way. He is the way. Right? I'm going I'm to I'm revamp that, uh, what is it, that Star Wars thing. Amashiach is the way. Kamakan? Welcome to Tampa, all right? <laughs> yes, sir, yes. Hey, I just wanted to say this. That's very powerful what you brought up. Go put our hands together again for the most high of these I'm going to give this to you other brought. But what he brought out, if you hear that, the preparation said prepare yourself for trial. Beloved, remember. The victory is in the preparation. It's not. When we get to the battlefield, we already won. The victory's in the preparing. 
So you already know you won when you got there. It's over with. So make sure that you're prepared. That's where you went in. All right, show up. Good. And what Bam was bringing out, he was bringing out uh, tribulation. Tribulation introduces a man to himself. Tribulation in hard times introduces a man and a woman to themselves. Do you really know yourselves? Have you been through anything? It will show you who you really are when you go into tribulations, okay? And temptations and so forth. Come. All right, so that was Captain Bam, okay, I'm no cap. And we want to give Bam a round of applause because he's the host of this 20th Martial Arts College Summit, the host camp. All right, so he did a good job. Okay, so I have, what, about seven scriptures in Revelation. You're going to read seven scriptures out of Revelation 5th chapter. All right, but before we um, go over that, so we want to have intermission in a few minutes. Probably about 10, maybe 15 minutes before I have intermission. And so what we're going to do is that we're going to have uh, classes. Can y'all remember we're going to classes during intermission? Uh, we will have some, uh, yeah, we're going to have uh, refreshments and everything, sandwiches, water. But the classes are going to be in the back there. We're going to have, um, we're going to have a Hebrew class. We're going to have a history class. Um, and a burial class, and a midwife class. Most are well come. So remember that. This is during intermission. All right? Now, some of you that might want to go to the burial class, there will be time for you to come out of the burial class and go to the Hebrew class. Some of you are in the Hebrew class, there will be time for you to come out of the Hebrew class, go to the history class. Come? So there will be time for that. All right? So uh, we're, we're trying to uh, establish more classes during the martial law Yashua Ala summits, okay, for the benefit of the congregation. Okay, come? Uh -huh. So we're going to do that at intermission, all right? So you get your refreshment, you get your water or whatever. Uh, they're not going to start right away. They're going to give you about five, ten minutes, and then the classes will start. It's going to be back there, okay? And, yeah, okay. Okay, we'll open. Okay, cut. All right. So, again, Revelation, fifth chapter, and the first verse. Now, you notice how we went from Genesis, brothers went uh, from Genesis to uh, the law, right, come. They went to uh, the Old Testament, come, all the way up to the New Testament, to the gospel, right now in Revelation, come. So we're trying to give you a little bit of everything in the spirit of Amashiach Yahushua and Khan. So now we're in Revelation, the book of Revelation, the fifth chapter and the first verse. Go ahead, up. Revelation chapter five, verse one. And I saw in the right at the in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within, and on the back side sealed with seven seals. All right. So this is the book of Revelation, the fifth chapter, and this is. Uh, the book of Revelation was uh, written by St. John, okay? They called him John the Revelator, but John was one of the 12 disciples of Yahweh Shah, right? John was uh, banished on the island of Patmos. Pat, island of Patmos was off the coast of Greece. This is around uh, uh, A.D. 95, A.D. 96, come? And he was banished there. So, but the spirit of the Most High, Yahweh Shah, wanted to happen that way. Why? Because you know, the Most High was going to have John write the book of Revelation. Come. All right? And John now was in the spirit. And he was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And Yahushua came to him. And he came to him with the vision of the book of Revelation. Come. Now, so you can understand, the book of Revelation didn't happen yet. The only part of the book of Revelation that happened was the first three chapters. Come. But after that, from the fourth chapter on, it didn't happen yet. Okay, so now, if somebody out there teaching that the book of Revelation happened already, that was happened, you know, thousands of years ago, that's not true. God? That's why the book of Revelation means what? Yeah, it means apocalypse to reveal. God? Or to be disclosed. God? So it didn't happen yet. God? 
So now we're in the fifth chapter. Now read the second verse. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open a book and to loose the seals thereof? So now, who is worthy, worthy to open the book and loose the seven seals thereof? Who is this person? Uh, who is this person? Who is worthy? So this is now John, okay, the angel's coming to John and telling John, who is worthy? Now, guess where John is at at this time? He's at the throne. He's seen all of this happening at the throne of the Most High. God. That's why the, sometimes the disciples and the prophets would get into a trance. And by them getting into a trance, the, uh, uh, the Most High would take their spirit out of them and take them to the throne. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it would take them to the throne of the Most High where they can envision all this. Come. Okay, so who is worthy? Go ahead, up. And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open a book, neither to look their own. How about that? No one was able to open the book. Okay? Or look their own. That means meaning the book of Revelation, come. So that's why it has to be, the, your Hawashai has to give you the understanding to open the book. Come. And so, by... Years and years of prayer and everything, the Most High eventually gave us the understanding, and I wrote a book called uh, To Be Revealed, or the Book of Revelation, To Be Revealed. Come. And at the uh, summit, at the end of the summit, you can uh, buy this book if you want, but it's broken down. All right? So you got to understand, and it's broken down by the spirit of Amashiach Yehoshua. And he's only going to give it to the ones in this time to the uh, Israelites at this time, to the prophets at this time, just before the destruction, okay, of the society, just before it, okay, come, because everybody's not meant to uh, have it. That's why you hear everybody, all these churches and stuff, thinking they got the understanding of the book of Revelation, but that's not true. They don't have the understanding, come. So go ahead, up. Verse 4, and I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open the and to read the book, neither to look their own. So I wept much because there was nobody else to uh, open the book or to understand what was in the book. Okay, go ahead up. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book. And so one of the elders, right, one of the elders saith uh, to me, Weep not. For I have found one to open the seals thereof and the book thereof. And who is that? That's how Mashiach Yahushai come. That's who we found. That's that Mashiach Yahushai. So there is nobody that can open this book up. All right? And when you read about the uh, seven seals, the seals can only be opened by how Mashiach Yahushai come. Revelation 6 chapter, only how Mashiach Yahushai can open the seven seals. Yeah, not Haley Selassie, uh, you know what I'm saying? Not, uh, what's the dude that's over the uh, Israelite group? In, uh, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. Yeah, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, not him. <laughs> right? Ben Ami. Ben Ami, not him. Right? And I know he, he, he said that he was, he was the, uh, you know, the revelator. <laughs> to open up the book. What did he say? The conquering lion. How about that? This is better. I mean, he's a conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. But still, the only conquering, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah is Yahushua, who was given the ability to open up the book of Revelation and the seven seals. That's it. Come. Okay. Go ahead, up. And to loose the seven seals thereof. See, to loose the seven seals thereof. The seven seals are not loosed yet because the first seal is what? The coming of the Antichrist. Come. The, the seven seals are not loosed yet. I know a lot of brothers think the seven seal when the when the sixth seal. But right, when the sixth seal, do you know what what should be happening by us being in the sixth seal? We would be well into Jacob's trouble. This should be bloodshed. A thousand on your left hand side, a thousand on your right hand side should fall down dead, death and destruction and bloodshed. So it's, it didn't happen yet. It's not happening yet. So we're not. At the even that first seal didn't come to pass yet, but we're closing in on it. Come, okay, go ahead up. 
And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of the Most High. Right, the ark, seven archangels. So now John is witnessing uh, Yahawashai in the spiritual world. This is the man, the one that can only open up the seven seals. Hamashiach Yahushai. Come. And that's why the scripture, um, go to this one real quick, huh? okay? Psalm 24 and 7. That's why David asked, who is this king? Right? Then he asked that, who is the king of glory? Psalms 24 and 7. Who is this king of glory? So even David, right? knew about Hamashiach Yahushua. He said, the Lord said to my Lord, sit thou on my right hand till I make thy enemies thy footstool. Did he say that? Okay. So Yahushua was back then talking to David one-on-one -on -one in the spirit. Come. But now David's going to ask you, who is this king? Okay, go ahead. I'll read that real quick. Psalms chapter 24, verse 7. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors. So the gates, so all the different brothers and different uh, schools and different um, camps that are here now, the different gates. So even though we're in, a, in America, in our captivity over here, but we still have the gates. These are the different camps. Come, and you're here now, right? Going up. And the king of glory shall come in. Now who, yeah, the king of glory shall come in. So what Yahushua said, when two or three are gathered in my name, I'm in the midst of them. Come. So Yahushua is in the midst of us. But we got to recognize Yahushua is our king. Come. Hamashiach, the anointed savior. Hamashiach Yahushua is our king. Come. He's our redeemer, our deliverer, our savior, everything. Come. So we got to recognize that. Go ahead, huh? Verse 8. Who is this king of glory? Who is the king of glory? That's the question. Who is the king of glory? And the answer is what? How Mashiach Yahushai come? Go on up. The Most High, strong and mighty. The Most High, mighty and battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. See? So when you lift up your heads, it's like the brothers were given all the uh, positive uh, spiritual motivation. Lift up your heads. See? Positive. Lift up your heads. Though we're going through our affliction and our adversities now, but lift up your heads, come, because you're the chosen. It's a done deal. The kingdom of peace is a done deal. You have it already. The problem is now you're not being an example of it. That's the problem. It has to come out of you because the kingdom is what without observation. So it has to come out of you, come. We have to establish it within ourselves and bring it and be an example of it. But it's already a done deal. For the end of the, Jacob, uh, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. It's already a done deal. Esau knows it too. That's why he's trying to kill you. Understand? Verse 10. Who is this king of glory? The most high of hosts. He is the king of glory. Selah. Okay, go back. Now read the sixth verse. Revelation 5 and 6. Revelation chapter 5 verse 6. And I beheld and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of the Most High, sent forth into all the earth. Okay, Hamashiach Yahushua, right? Okay, go ahead up. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. Okay, very well, very well. Okay, so that's it right there, huh? So, uh, this is a Mashiach Yahushai, right, Cun? And we want to give honor and glory and praise to Hamashiach Yahushai, who is the king. Come, that's what we want to do. So let's everybody stand up. Okay, Mikey will point you out for dumb. Oh, they got this all? Okay, yeah. Oh.
Okay. Okay. Good. Oh, one clap. Oh, hold up, hold up, back on. Don't go to the horn yet. Okay. So remember, at intermission, what we're going to do is have one class. I just want to remember. One class, three speakers. One class, three speakers. Okay. All right. So one one class, three teachers. What we're going to do at uh, intermission. Okay, Con. So everybody's going to Madhu uh, Apanya Hakwadam face the east. Are we going to have the brothers come up and do a song or what? Do a song for us, Okay. Rock a song. 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 Rocket the Aishwaya, Pashemayim, Baba Ratiza, Watatan, Lachamdawa, Tamyadia, Wamachawa, Lanawa, Khata Atinawa, Kashara, Anachnawa, Mawakhalium, Lachawatayam, Lanawa, Wahal, Tabayanawa, Layadia, Nasaya one, Wishamoyan, Makal, Rai, Aman, Yahawu, Ashim, Yahusha, Borak, Mokonawu, Wishadanawu, Wara, Aman, Aman. I wanted to read this real quick for anybody that's sick. James 5 and 13. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of Yahweh Yahawashah. And the prayer of the faith shall save the sick, and Yahweh shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. So we want to keep in mind this sister, uh, Simone. We want to mention her name and have her in their prayer. Is there anybody here that's, that's sick? You're supposed to call for the elders. You got the elders here. We're going to go ahead and pray the prayer for the sick. But keep that in mind. Any of you among you here sick, the elders are here. And we want to pray over you. Hallelujah. All right, I'm going to read number six. Uh, verse 22 in English, then we're going to go over to ancient Hebrew. Right? This is number 622. And the Most High spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his son, saying, On this wise he shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Most High bless thee and keep thee. Yahweh make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Yahweh lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Ya Baraka Yahweh, Ya Shemarka, Ya Ar Yahweh, Pan Yahweh, Aliyaka, Ya Chanka, Ya 
Looking at my past indiscretion, I'm thinking I'm dirty, I'm dirty, broken pieces from a machine, you're saying I'm worthy, I'm still worthy, focus on my everyday survival. Living my life in captivity. I was not prepared for what came next. My judgment is this life like worthy? Okay, all right. We'll take time. Before I ever knew you knew me, you chose me. Before I ever knew my purpose, you molded me. At first, I didn't understand why you love me. I should have been dead. Bullets in my head. You still call me creating me a clean heart. Oh, yeah. If I deserve it, fix what is broken, release what I'm holding. Cause my Molding me, you 
You chose me. Oh, yeah. I'll close you. This next song. The next song says, um, Will You Be Ready? Um, I wrote this song really just uh, reading in Romans. And it's like, why are we really prepared for the Most High's coming back to take us with him? Are we prepared? Will you be ready? So that's the question in this song right here. Will you be ready when the sun cracks the sky? Will you be ready Will you be ready when the sun cracks the sky? Will you be ready? Wake up my people from the sleep in the skies. It's time for you to see who you really are. Royalty, our people's blood all in these streets. We have no peace. When you're going to recognize we're running out. From your wicked ways, clean your life today. Get your house in order. Yes. Yeah. Will you be ready? Will you be ready? When the sun cracks the sky, will you be ready? These curses have us stuck with the chains that makes us weak. A thorn off in my side, begging for some relief. What is the solution? For all the pain that we see, Hamashiach, we're waiting to see your hand on the end of me. Will you be ready when he comes? When he comes, will you be ready when the sun? Will you be ready when the sun cracks the sky? Will you be ready? And that knowing the time is now, it's time to hide time. She wakes up out of sleep. For now, it's our salvation. If our salvation is glory, then we will be going to be Romans 13 for are you ready? I like the camera. She was asking the shy like she wasn't ready. She was, she was more than ready. You know what I mean? How many more you got? How many more you got? Couple more. Oh, okay. It's your time. Okay. All right. We want to say you are to the most high Yahushai for the what? The 20th Masharal Hebrew Summit. We want to welcome everybody here. As always, it's a blessing that everybody is able to come. As always, when we do the summit, we always pray for everybody's safety. Everybody, all the camps that are on their way here, that they get here in safety, all the brothers and sisters. And we know some uh, 
the congregation, they come and they're, you know, they're individuals. They're not part of no camp. They're not part of no easy life school. And they come on their own. We get that every summer. We get that gun. So we pray for everybody's safety to get here. Okay, and we thank all you brothers and sisters, the camps that come, because that represents what? That represents the unity. When Howard Shah said, forsake not to come together in unity. Okay, that's the gospel, isn't it, Khan? And this is what Yahweh Shah is teaching us. And he's not talking about just individual in your camp, he's talking about all of us. Now, it's, it's big now, right? Israel, the Hebrew is like a community nation is big now, Khan? It's all over, and we're going, we're going to speak on some of the brothers who are here from Europe and, and Africa, okay, come, and from uh, the, uh, the islands, okay, so every summit we get that, and so that's the main thing, that's the main theme of the martial arts out, is bringing different camps and Israelite schools together, and keeping it, and keeping it in that spirit of a martial arts out, come, that's the main theme. And so we want to be able to do that. And what did Yahweh Shai say? What did Most High say? What one nation is like unto thee, O nation of Israel? Con? Con. For the Most High took the side to make you, his own people, a nation for himself forever. Con? Con. And that's you. So now we're more, look, under the Persian Empire, what were we? We, we were the nation of Israel under the Persian Empire, right? The Persian Empire had 127 provinces. Con? That's, that's more than America. Okay, come? But we knew we were all Israelites. Right? And we knew we did what? And we were all as one. Even though we were in different provinces, today we call them states. But we were all as one. When the Passover came, we all celebrated the Passover. Okay? When the High Holy Days came, we all celebrated the High Holy Days. Come? Because when, when Haman put up, uh, made the gallows, to try to hang us all, it was all that he was made the God to do what? Hang all the Jews. It wasn't just the, the Jews over there have a hang, no, all of us. Okay? So again, now that we're we're more than what we were uh, 20 years ago, 30, 40, 50 years ago, so now we're coming together and it's time for us to come together as one. It's high time for us to do that. Okay, that's why the scripture say, uh, 2 Corinthians, what, 6 and 1, now is the time of your salvation. See, now is that time. So we got to make it happen, and we got to do it, and we got to bring it out of ourselves, okay? The Most High said the kingdom is not without observation, okay? Right. You're not going to see it come out the sky, right? Come. Right. It's within us. So we got to establish that. That is why Yahweh Shai said, what? You are the salt of the earth. But the salt has lost the Savior, wherewith can it be uh, seasoned? Come? Uh. Right? How can, a, how can a, 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 you take a candle and light it, right, and then put it under your bushel? Who's going to see the light then, right? you got to take the candle, you light it, and you put it where everybody can see it. Come? Come. So you're that light, the scriptures say. Come? Uh. You're, that, you're, that, you're that city uh, that's lit up, okay, the nation of Israel. You're that nation that's lit up. And so therefore, the Yahweh Shai said, be an example of that light. And that's what we're supposed to be. This is what Yahweh Shai wants to do. This is why all that hatred and stuff got to go out the window. See, the scripture says what? He didn't hate his brother is what? In darkness. Even until now, you're in darkness. Right? The scripture says if you hate your brother, you have murdered him. You have committed murder. The most I charge you with murder if you hate your brother. How about that? And you say, I did never commit a murder, but did you, you hated your brother. <laughs> and the most I didn't charge you with murder. So we got to come from that, and this is the things that we got to learn as we grow. Come? So as, as like we were saying earlier, to resolve the issues between brother and brother, sister and sister, uh, uh, husband and wife, come? Camp versus camp. To resolve those issues, we got to be more of a restorer, a redeemer, a builder. Somebody wants to resolve the issues. Come. That's what we have to establish here. Can't run away. You know, there's no order in Israel, so I'm leaving. I'm going back out in the world. Where are you going? Huh, that was a quad. Where are you going? <laughs> there's no way to run. You can run, but you can't hide. It's going to come right back to you. Come. So this is what the Most High is saying. And so now it's high time for us to be come together as one. Uh, bam. Can you get Isaiah 9 and uh, 6 for me? 
Because another thing we got to understand that we knew bringing calves together like this, that we know that there's different doctrines and, you know, different understandings and so forth. Some brothers still think Cornelius is an Edomite. Some brothers think Cornelius is an Israelite, right? <laughs> Some brothers think the immaculate conception, right? Some can't think that, believe that. Come. Some brothers say it's the lunar Sabbath, and some brothers say it was the seven-day Sabbath. Right, Con? Huh? Right? All these different, all these different. Some brothers say it's the first light for the new moon. And then some brothers say it's the it's the all-dark moon. Con? Huh? Right? And the Pharisees, they had a problem. The Pharisees and Sadducees had their issues with resurrection. Some believed in the resurrection, some didn't. But when it came time to for the common denominator that you are Hebrew Israelite and you're Hebrew, your language is Hebrew, your land is Israel, right? Then that's where we all come together on the come. Then those differences we settle later, come. We will settle those differences later. And we have started really now, because we had a we had a, a conference, a summit where we were had a meeting concerning the lunar Sabbath versus the seven day Sabbath. Should I tell them, uh, Bam, what came out of that? <laughs> uh, okay, but we'll tell you later. But what came out of that, but we had a discussion. And we tried to settle that uh, debate. Okay, come. Actually, it was a seven-day Sabbath. But <laughs> we can go in the scriptures, right? We can go over it, go over it, until we get it right. Come. It was a seven-day Sabbath that came out to be on top. Come. As opposed to the leaders, but still, if we need more discussion, we go over it again. This is what the most I want to see. Because we're not going to not be without uh, uh, brothers having different doctrines and misunderstanding scriptures until we get out of here. Come? That's the way it's going to be. We realize that. We, we know their brothers in the truth are still in pork. Oh, yes! Nah. In the truth! Nah, man. Yeah, they say they're in the truth. Nah. Yeah. And there's videos on it all that in you. Okay, some of y'all have seen it. What? Right? Y'all know what we're talking about. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Uh, an abomination, wasn't it? But now, are we going to say they're not our brothers? No, they're your brothers. Right? Right. Now, we have to send one of y'all over there going to talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe I was the one or one of y'all or somebody. You know, go talk to them. Just don't eat. Just don't eat nothing. <laughs> so I'm just saying. See, but we can't say. Can we alienate them? Let's say if they want to come in to the summit, right? What are we gonna do? Just don't bring no food. Just don't bring no food. <laughs> right. So we're gonna have that, and we know we would have that, right? We understood we would have that. Okay. But still, they are brothers. Maybe they they need understanding. That's all. They need counseling. They need somebody. When you have a problem with your husband, husband and wife issues and all that, do we say that you got a problem, can't take care of your household, you can't come to the summit or nothing? We don't say that, do we? What do we say? We got a counselor right here at the martial arts hall that can help you with your situation. Okay? I is part of the advisory department. We got a counselor here that deal with marriages, situations, and everything. Okay? So we have to deal with it. That's 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 Part of what we are, who we are. We have to deal with our own internal problems. Esau got to deal with his internal problems, don't he? But when it comes to you, he's all together, isn't he? He comes to you as one one nation against you. So we got to do the same thing. When the Chinese have their problems, they all come together and try to figure out how to deal with it. Japanese, Arabs, right? They all do the same thing. So what's our problem? First thing you want to do when you got a problem, especially fighting out there in the, in the streets and stuff, who do you call? <laughs> Who do they call? Yeah, the enemy, right? How you gonna call the enemy to solve your problem? <laughs> Think about it. You call the enemy to solve your problem. So it don't look right. Okay? Go ahead, Bam. Read that for me. Damn. The book of Isaiah, chapter 9 and verse 6. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be on his shoulders. So let's talk about who? Hamashiach Yahushai. Come. Come. This is the government of Hamashiach Yahushai. 
It's not all government. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, we're part of that government, but this is the government of Mashiach Yahushai. He's the king. That's what we read earlier. Who's the king? Oh, Mashiach Yahushai is the king. Come. But Yahushai, is Yahushai got to come out of heaven and come back here to talk to you? No, he didn't already did it, didn't he? Is it right here? See? The gospel. He didn't already get to talking. We have to apply it. And we don't want to apply it. We're running away from who we're supposed to represent. And we're running away from it. And that's our problem. Yahweh Shai, they all get to speak it. It was Yahweh Shai on Mount Sinai with Moses. That was Yahweh Shai, huh? Come. Huh. The burning bush, that was on Mashiach Yahweh Shai. When Yahweh Shai came to uh, Joshua, he said, Joshua, I'm the captain of this host. What the hell are you talking about? Now take off your sandals and kneel down before me. That's what he told him. Because I'm the captain. And Joshua did exactly what Yahweh told him to do. Come. He said, Paul, how are you going to mess with me? How are you going to get against the bricks? You can't defeat me. For that, Paul, I'm going to blind you three days and three nights. Now see how you like that. And what we have to Paul out there? He straightened up, didn't he? No more persecuting the church. No more persecuting uh, Israel, right? He straightened up. Can you go blind into three and three nights? Right? You're going to straighten up, right? So Yahweh Shai can do it. Right? So this is Yahweh Shai. He, was, he died for our sins. He didn't have to do it. He laid down his life, you said, for the nation of Israel. Come. Uh. So he is the king. And then, uh, bam, Psalms 22. Psalms 22, 28. You got it? Come. On. Go ahead. The book of Psalms, chapter 22, and verse 28. For the kingdom is the Lord's. The kingdom is your house, shot. Come. On. Go ahead. And he is the governor. He's the what? The governor. What is Yahweh Shai? The governor. The what? The, the governor. governor. Okay, go on. Among so them. So Yahweh Shai is the governor among them. So that's, that's the common denominator that we all have to have, that Yahweh Shai is running this government. Come. So it's not us. We're just council members, right, that is uh, directing this and keeping the martial arts of Allah and keeping the theme going and keeping... The uh, understanding of we are a nation now. You got to keep that theme going. Okay, we are a nation now. Come, there's no more individual camps and all that. We're a nation. We're just a nation in exile on the left nation. Come, we're a nation in exile. You know that, right? Okay, we're a government under a double government. Right? You know what does nation exile mean? What does exile mean? Because you are, you are a sovereign nation on another nation. Which means what? You're just waiting up until, up until the time so you can go back into your land because you've got occupiers now in your land. And your land be liberated. That's all it is. But we are a government. So that's why you move slowly against or stop doing what this government as far as wants you to do you know, celebrating their, their laws and their holidays and all that stuff. Move away from that. And slowly come into what the most I want us to do. Okay, come? All right. And then, um, bam. Get 1 Corinthians 10, 16. Real quick. 1 Corinthians 10, 16. Go ahead. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 16. The cup of the blessing... Salakia, the cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? For we, being many, are one bread. What are we? One bread. What are we? One, one bread. bread. What are we again? One bread. We are one bread. In the hour shall come. So all this individualism, these different camps that are separating themselves from the body or disassociating themselves with the rest of the Israel, that's an abomination. 
You are against Hamashiach Yahushua. That's not the gospel. Come. Did Yahushua teach us that? He didn't teach us that. He even watched the disciples speak to show us how we're supposed to uh, conduct ourselves with one another in meekness and in humbleness, nurturing one another and caring for one another. How you going to tell me I can't salute you because you're from a different camp? Who the hell are you? You ain't nobody. So who are you? I can't salute you. That's madness. And so, well, if you ain't part of our camp, I can't talk to you. Isn't that madness? And y'all know these, some of these camps do that. But we're all, we're one body. Come, go ahead up. And one body. For we are all partakers of that one bread. You're all partakers of that one bread. Come. So this is why it's important to keep this theme of the martial arts of Allah going. This is why we had, it's our 20th summit. Come. To keep the theme going. Because it's important. It broke the head and tell you from where we started from. Where it used to be maybe 50 of us. 50, 60 of us. We didn't do that one time. We said no woman. But it grew to a, a position where the most I said, no, you gotta include, you gotta include all, all Israel. God. Right? But we we're learning in stages. As we go and as we grew. And uh, the most I showed us, the martial arts, all the flag and everything, and the code of ethics, that we grew into a, a government. We're growing into a government. Most I said, what, it's like, Yahweh said, it's like a grain of mustard seed. If you have faith in a grain of mustard seed, a grain of mustard seed is what? The lowest of all words. It starts off with like the lowest of all words. But it grows to be what? One of the tallest herbs. Come. That's the nation of Israel. You like a grain of mustard seed, right? So yeah, there, there's always internal problems and so forth, right? Sometimes confusion, but you can't run away from it. Name me one man that ran away from his household when his, his children had problems or his wife had problems, right? You're not going to do that. You may out of the world, you may hear about that, but uh, a, a true true man on both sides, you're not running away. Come, you're going to try to resolve that issue. Come. And that's what the most I want. That's why I told Moses that Moses, yeah, you're the meekest man in the whole earth, but get men like yourself, Moses, to deal with Israel. Because you're going to kill yourself trying to deal with all these problems. So he said, get officers, get judges, get men like yourself. And how was Moses what kind of man? Was the meekest man in all the earth. And that's what Moses did. And he got he took the elders from each, each tribe and rose them up to help him come. So now that's what we ask before in the martial arts home. We need participation. We need cooperation. Because this is your nation. And it's not mine. Stop looking at it like we're trying to set something up. We ain't trying to set nothing up. Except the nation. In Yahweh shop. And nobody get paid for this or nothing like that. It's saying I ain't about the brothers used to think that. Because that's that negative thought. Thank you, right, son? What are they really trying to do? Right, Elsie Kwan? What, what are they? Like, Elsie Kwan, what, what are y'all really trying to do? That's what the brother asked him. <laughs> and what did Elsie Kwan say, brother? You got me. What are you talking about? What are, what are you talking about? So you got, you got that old evil thought, negative thought. So it's not about that. This is your nation. That's why we always act every summit. We need brothers to participate, sisters to participate, and help the government grow. When Moses, when the Most High said, Moses, you got to build a tabernacle. You got to build that thing. Moses was like, well, how am I going to do it? I don't have no money, I have no resources. He said, go to the people. And, what, and Moses told the people, he said, said what? Well, we need gold. We need silver. We need copper. We need everything. We need brothers who have skills. And what, what happened? They started coming up, didn't they? They needed participation. Because it was their government. It was going to be the temple of the Most High, but the temple for Israel, come the tabernacle for Israel. So, so where are you? I know you're from different camps, and your camp leader says, you know, this and that, and what you do, this and that. But what about the nation now? That's why we got a priest department. We're looking for Levites. We got a correspondence department. We're looking for brothers who deal with correspondence. We got a scribe department. We need brothers who look at a uh, or good writers. 
We got a history department. We got a Hebrew department. We're the brothers that are good in Hebrew. And stop thinking that we want your camp. We don't want your camp. I don't want them problems. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. Okay, yeah, okay. We'll take on some of those problems, but you got to come to council and we'll go over it. But I'm just saying, we don't want all them problems. Yes. <laughs> they go to the advisory department. All right. I'm just saying, you got to come to council. I'm just saying, your, your particular gate or your camp, you set up a council. Any problems arise with brothers or sisters or marriage or so forth and so on, then they come to that council of that camp. Come. Now, if you can't handle it, if that council can't handle it, then there's a higher council. That's what we represent. The higher council, that's all. Come. That's all. Because every every situation does not need to come to a higher council. Come. You handle your situation. Are you going, every situation in your family, do you go to council for it? No. You're able to, the, the husband and the wife is able to handle it, right? Until it gets to a point where you can't handle it, and then you go to your, 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 your camp leader or your school leader and say, look, I need some counseling, marriage counseling. Come. And you should do that. All this, I'm going to keep it in house. I want to, I don't want to get out. You got brothers saying that too? Secrets. <laughs> and it's out anyway. See, they think it's not out, but it's out anyway. This is what some of these camps do. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get out. It's better that it gets out so you can handle it, come right. and correct it. So that's what we're trying to do here, okay? In the spirit of Mashiach Yahushua. Go ahead and finish that. Um, Bam. I think up to 17 verse degree 17. Come on, uh, 18. Oh, uh, no, not 18. Go to Romans 12, 4 and 5. Come on. Go ahead. The book of Romans chapter 12 and verse 5. Uh, or talking 4. Verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. Do you have the same office? No, you don't. Every camp is different, isn't it? What some of you camps offer, the other camp does not offer. Come. So there shouldn't be one camp in competition with another camp. It's just different gifts. Come. So don't think you're better. You're not better than, than, than me. You ain't better than that camp over there or that camp over there. It's competition. You need to stop. It's about spiritual gifts and talents. Most I don't do it all. Like, he don't care about all the competition. You got that. I know one man going to bring in the kingdom of heaven. That's what some brothers are saying. <laughs> what they think, they think they're going to do. It's not going to happen that way. Okay? Did, did only one disciple get the, the comforter? No, all 12 of them got it, didn't they? But they had to come together on one accord, didn't they? Okay, that's how it's going to happen. Okay, go ahead. Huh? Verse 5. For we, being many, are one body. We are what? One body. We are what? One body. How about that? We're one body. Go ahead. Huh? In a Mashiach. And every one member, one of another. See? One of another. So we are one of another. So what I don't have in the spiritual gifts, you have it. So that's why I need my fellow brother. Fellow sister, I need you. And you need us. That's what Elder Kwan was saying, how he had to go to Elder Bunyanyan for something. Because Elder Bunyanyan has the talent. Where well, Elder Kwan may not have that talent. That's how it's supposed to work. There's no shame in that. I'm not ashamed that I got to come to a brother that hasn't only been in the truth one year, but because he has the talent, I'm going to still go to him. Come. I'm going to humble myself and go to Mike. That's the time the most I gave him. So what? He's been in truth one year. But he has the time. And that's why the, the parable of the laborers, you ever hear the parable of the laborers? With the most I, you have to try to get everybody a penny for their works. Why do you only give a penny? But the brother who's been in the truth 20, 30 years was like, Yahushai, I need more. I've been in truth longer than that brother. He just came in. Yahushai says, no, you can read for a penny. Now get out of my face. I'm paying you a penny. 
<laughs> you don't tell your boss that, do you? What did your boss tell you? You get twenty dollars an hour, and that's it. Take it or leave. You want the job or not? And you work like a damn slave. You don't go to his face and tell him, "Look, I I just came. I came in. I've been here a year, two, or three, and this guy just come in. How he gonna you know make as much as me? No, you don't tell him that, do you? So you go to the white man and say that. They're gonna tell you the same thing. Get out of my face. You get fired. See you. <laughs> Unemployment. Go see the HR. Right. So your house shy saying the same thing. Get out of my face. You 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 agree for a penny. But why? Why is that important? Because no man has control when they come to the truth. Do you got control of it? No. Only your house shy has control of it. Come? So since you don't have control of it, your house shy knows that he's giving out the spiritual gifts. And whatever gift that brother has, has only been in the shoe for a year, and your spiritual gift, you've been in 20 years, he has no control of that. But he still has that spiritual gift that Yahushai wants, that talent, right? The only time Yahushai got upset is when the brother with one talent hit his. And you brothers that are hiding your talents, and you're saying, oh, I ain't got an want to give the martial arts to Allah. And you're hiding your talent and don't want to cooperate and participate in the building of the government. Well, your house shy don't take care of you. He didn't have, it shall be taken away even that which he had. And I'm going to take what you have and give to the brother with ten talents. Now, now you just gave the brother another, another ten talents. <laughs> and your house shy took what you had. Now you've got nothing. Now you're out, outside, out in the sheep corner talking about the Sabbath is Monday. <laughs> And we had that before. Ben knows. Ash knows. We had that before. Yeah, it was, about, it was Monday or Tuesday. But no, matter of fact, sometimes it was Monday, sometimes it was Tuesday. So can you have a shy really take your spirit from you? Yes, you can. If you're going to hide your talent, he can take it from you. So now is the time. So now let's begin to build the government back. All the other nations got their government. Didn't the most I said, prepare for war. Right. Right? Take your plowshares and beat them into swords. Right? Prepare for what are we prepared for? Are we prepared for war? No, we're not really prepared for war. Okay? We're, we're prepared for to abuse one another, rape one another, rob one another, misuse one another, take advantage of the congregation. That's what we do with one, with one another. Yeah, TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok's an abomination. Y'all know it. Instagram's an abomination. All this stuff. Social media's an abomination. Ask right. us and your house about those. We came up at a time when there was no TikTok. There was no YouTube. You had to come to the school. You had to be brotherly. Right? You had to go to the library. Okay? Now, I know Bab's using his phone, but there was, <laughs> there was no phones, brother. You couldn't go to Ariel back in and say, Ariel, you uh, need a reader? Can I read for you? And you start going on your phone, Ariel would kill you. <laughs> Bring that brother, what are you doing? <laughs> Bible, he got my Bible here, not a phone. But see, we didn't care at the time when there was no, you know, phones and all that. We had to read, we had to go to the library and get our books. But now you just go to Amazon, punch it up, order it, and it comes to your house. Is there any work involved in that? I, I remember going to the library saying, look, uh, I need a couple of icon, those icon books and all that. Uh, I'll bring them back. <laughs> I'll I, I bring them back. <laughs> I, I still got the book. <laughs> and that was about 1985, 86. <laughs> I borrowed them. But still, we had to do all that. You go to Strand's bookstore in New York. Go to Strands, and they had books all over the place. And you looked around and said, okay, I got this book here. Maybe they may not see me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and yeah, you did what you had to do. Barnes and Nobles, whatever. But brothers, brothers, next thing you know, after a couple of weeks or a couple of months, brothers are, are, are loaded. Got a library in their house. You don't know how you get on the books. <laughs> you know, you damn well didn't buy on the books. <laughs> okay? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when Kahan used to come to Jamaica. So he would bring one Babylon to people too. 
So we have to one copy, so we have the list. Right. Yeah, you're not taking a Bible like people to interlink it to buy it. No. <laughs> so we have a whole list right. of different pages. That's how that's <laughs> how my concordance is for the Apocrypha. My concordance for the Apocrypha is not you know a book that I bought off of Amazon. It's it's uh, paper that's Xerox and bound with you know what I'm saying bound like that. That's how we have to do. Xerox. Brother, could I borrow your pocket for? I, why? I just want to Xerox it for a couple of minutes. And I, I'll get it right back. But he got your pocket for, don't he? Right, son? He got it. That's how we had to do it up back then. But now, y'all got it easy, up. Y'all got it easy. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all complain and murmur. I see why the most I was angry at us out in the wilderness. See why he was angry. And you know, and he's gonna take us to the wilderness again, and all that complaining and murmuring. I want to go back to America, and all that's gonna happen again. And, but he said, this time I purge out the rebels, and the rebels are not gonna walk into Jerusalem. He's not coming, okay? So uh, I wanted First Corinthians 11, 12 and eleven. First Corinthians twelve and eleven, and then <clears throat> come on. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, and verse 11. But all these worketh that one and the same self, so like a self same spirit, dividing to every man severely as we he will. Right, see? So, working that self same spirit. So, severally to every man is given the spirit or talent or gift from the most high, huh? But it comes from the same source, doesn't it? Right? So where's all the pride, pride, pride coming at? When you think you're better than the next brother because, you know, your spiritual gift. There's, there's different gifts. Some brothers can prophesy. Some brothers can teach well. Some brothers learn history better than other brothers. Some brothers are a better evangelists. They're better travelers. Okay? Some brothers can uh, 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 prophesy teaching the street better, public speakers better, huh? Okay. Right? There's things that brothers can do that I can't do. So you gotta say, you gotta give it up to them and get, get them to do it. That's why when the Most High need a brother to do something, the Most High is taking the brother because of the spiritual gift the Most High gave him. And the brother may not be in the truth no longer than a year, but that brother has the gift, the right gift for the right situation, the right circumstance. Come. And, and I, because out of your pride, you said, well, I've been in the truth 20 years. Why did the Most High choose me? Because you, the gift ain't what the Most High want at the time. You got to humble yourself. Yeah, the patient. Was that enough? Uh, we did 12 verse. For as the body is one. The body is one. One. That's see, that's all over the gospel. That was about the third or fourth scripture. I read the body is one. This is, but we're not applying it. It has to come out of us. Yahweh I can't make you do it. It has to come out of you. Come. It has to be within you. He's what Yahweh Shai is waiting on us. You're waiting on Yahweh Shai, and, and, and Yahweh Shai is waiting on you. So it's like I had a stalemate. <laughs> it was out of stalemate. Because the kingdom is in, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Well, how can that be? So I mean the kingdom of heaven is what? A people. Come. And the violence take it by force. So that means the, like on the Greeks and the Romans, the Romans took it by force. So that means most I said the kingdom is a people. It's not something, he said, without observation, it's not something that you look for. Come. It has to come out of your spirit. That's why the brothers read, choose ye this day, which you, which you going to accept, life or death. You choose, you make a choice. See, the Most High did give us choice. He created us, but he didn't make us a robot. He gave us choices. So you make the choice. And if you, if you make the wrong choice and don't accept, then participate or cooperate, what's going to happen? Did the Most High tell? He told. Uh, he told Elijah. Elijah ran into the cave and thought he was the only prophet left. The Most High said, "Elijah, shut up! Shut up! I'm, you know, I'm the Most High. 
Uh, you think I'm only have one prophet left? I got 7,000 prophets that have bowed to me. So when you think, I don't got to cooperate, I don't have to help build the nation or whatever, okay, the most I move you out the way and do what? Bring in the next brother. Because the next brother is always in the wings, waiting. Right, Con? Always. Okay? That's why you see some brothers who are up here in the beginning and not up here now. The most I brought somebody to that place. Okay? <laughs> yeah, right? Go ahead, uh, Judas. Yeah, Judas. Go ahead, uh. For as one, for the body is one and has many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body. So also is Christ. So, uh, yeah, so Yahweh Shai is one. Right? Shema Yahshawah, Yahweh, 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 Right? One. Hero Israel, Yahweh, Power, Yahweh is just one. You're one in Yahweh Shai. And when we come together as one, that's the spiritual power right there. Come. You sitting there waiting for spiritual power. God's going to come when we come together. Come. Okay? That's how it's going to come together. So, with that, uh, we have the different departments for the martial law, Yashar. And as always, all right, we want to just give you an example of how the government and how the government is being built. And again, we need your cooperation. Okay, and these brothers, when they stand up and give uh, the understanding of their department, they're going to ask, which one of you want to come into this department and help build? Come. Okay, come. So before we get that, now, the martial art was started in 2014. Come. Who had 2014, that first summit, that first conference? We called it a conference back then. It started in Washington, D.C. Come. And we've been all over America having summits. Y'all know, the ones that you've been coming, y'all know about it. Come. Did we stop? COVID came. Did we stop? Even when COVID came, we couldn't get a venue. What did we do? We went to Memphis and had a big unity camp. They tried to stop us. Y'all know what camp did, but they tried to stop us. But we didn't stop, did we? Okay? That was in Memphis on Bill Street. And we had a, a nice unity camp. We even went to, uh, I think it was Harriet Tubman. The Harriet Tubman uh, site. Even though the woman stopped us, but we went there. <laughs> the Underground Railroad, the Harriet Tubman site. Mm. Come on. Okay, so we did we did all of that. And um, so we're going to continue with that. And so I'd like to say the water Yahweh for this 20th summit, man. It's, it's a celebration of 20 summits. And so I just want to remind everybody, on your table, you have different literature. Come. You have the literature, you have the mission statement. See the mission statement? The Marshall Royal Shaw has a mission statement. Come. And you can read it. It's on the table. If you want one, you can come up and get one. If, if the ones that back in are not sitting by tables, uh, but you can get one, just come up to me and I'll give you one. The reason why we don't give out all of the literature because where are we going to find it? On the floor, in the garbage can. So we don't give it all out at one time. Okay? Uh, also, the martial law, Yasha Allah came together, not only a mission statement, okay? But we came together and we had a code of ethics drawn up. And this was from the first summit, this code of ethics was drawn up. And the code of ethics was drawn up. And what it is, is just scriptures put together. 12 scriptures, 12 codes, okay? And it's called Brotherhood Code of Ethics. How we're supposed to conduct ourselves with one another. Okay? First code is uh, Mark 12 and 30. Second code, Mark uh, uh, 12 and 30. And that's, that's, that's the same code. And then uh, code 3, Matthew 18 and 15. Code 4, Matthew 5, 23, 24. Code 5, Leviticus 19, 17. As you go on down, different codes, different scriptures. Okay? The reason why we emphasize this is because of what? This is how we're supposed to conduct ourselves with one another. See? What do you always say? A new commandment I give thee, that you do what? That you love one another. And if a man say, he see his brother, and say he loved the most high, see his brother, and then say he hate his brother, 
How many you hate your brother whom you've seen? You say you love the most something you've not seen. Right? How you gonna say you hate your brother? You see your brother every day. You've never seen the most out. See? So stop all this contrary talk. Come? Okay, so we have the code of ethics. It's on the table too, but the ones back there, if not by a table, we have it. And when you get these literatures and stuff, take it home. Okay? Don't we don't want to see it on the floor. I used to get these out to everybody that came to the summit, you know, from the first summit on down to the 20th summit, but uh, it's, it's too much it's too much paperwork and literature being thrown away. So we stop giving it, and the ones of you that really want it, we give it out. But this is the code of ethics, and the martial arts all the council came together, and we put this together. Okay? And I'll tell you, there was a brother, uh, Maharaka, Maharaka is not here now, but Maharaka, he came to us with the code of ethics. Okay, y'all know Maharaka, he came to us with this. And as a council, we said, okay, we can deal with that. We'll put that together for the martial arts hour. So any ideas that you have, you, you bring it up to us. Come, just to move the nation forward so we can build the nation. And also, we have um, the flag. Okay, the flag was put together by the martial arts hour. Right? You see martial arts Allah, government of Israel. Martial arts government, Israel, uh, Yasha Allah is Israel. You see around the menorah, okay, that's martial arts Allah Hebrew. We came together, we said it needs something. We said we gotta put the 12 tribes on it. To show what? What the most I told Ezekiel. He said put them all together on one stick. Did he tell Ezekiel that? Put it all together on one stick. So as the other nations have a flag, we had to make our flag, right? That's right. So now we got our flag. So, so we don't need the we don't need United States flag. We don't need nothing he saw God doing. We don't need nothing he got, brother. Nothing. We don't need his woman. You see, the brothers are running away from the white woman, and they still charge him, make him guilty. We don't need it. Unbelievable. We don't need nothing from them. So now we got we got our own nation, and we got the most high Yahweh Hashem Yashai, who is our king. Come, uh-huh. all right. So we came together on the flag, all right. And you got the code of ethics, and then we got uh, other the other logos too. Martial arts out. We have a marketing department that put this together. Come, uh-huh. we have a marketing department that put this together, and uh, we do have uh, the website martialartshour.com. Some of y'all go to the website, you see it. Uh, the uh, martialartshour.com. Okay, go to the website, you see it. Uh, we're on TikTok. Some of you seen some of the uh, advertisements right for the summits and stuff on TikTok. Go to Instagram. Gun. Go to Marshall uh, email. Marshall uh, email. Dot com email. Gun. Gun. All right. Marshall Yashawa at Yahoo dot com. I believe. Yeah. Gun. All right. And so forth and so on. And we do have uh, a phone number also. Okay. We have a phone number. I'm gonna give to you. Right, we have a phone number. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay, 302-365-0650. If you remember that, 302-065-0650. Uh, right, that's the phone number, Marshall Roy, that's your hour. Okay. Say it again. 302 365 That's the Marshall Wire Shala phone number. It's linked to my phone number also. Okay, come. All right. And so these are some of the things the most I has uh, put the spirit on us to uh, build uh, for the government of the Marshall Wire Shala. And again, we need participation and cooperation. So what we want to do now is uh, have the brothers that's part of the council of the Marshal Allah, go
go over their departments. They're going to give two or three minutes to go over their departments, and they're going to allow you to hear what they're doing uh, for the departments of the martial arts. Okay, come. Come on. You ready? Okay. Okay. So the first brother, El Zaquan. El Zaquan is from your house camp. Come. Uh-huh. He's a scribe, part of the scribe department for the martial arts. Elder Juan is an accomplished writer. He's got books on Amazon, books on Barnes and Nobles. Done. He goes and uh, speaks. He, he's a speaker, okay, and he speaks at colleges, speaks at high schools, right, Come. And he has uh, about eight books, Come. Eight books out. How about that? He's an actual writer, right? Okay? So he, if anybody described his hand, come, right? He's in the right position. <laughs> right? Even brothers here say, hey, Elder Kwan, write this up for me. Elder Kwan, here, write this up for me. Right? And he does every, all that stuff, okay? So Elder Kwan, go ahead. Yeah, hey, Shalom, I'm going to be real quick. Um, Elder Brock said, I'm from Dallas Camp, uh, no Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, I'm going to just be a minute. Um, you know, we have a chance to rewrite history. You know, it's no need to complain about uh, what Esau is doing. There's no need to complain about uh, what other people are doing. We can do it ourselves. You know, you can't leave here tonight, you know, um, you know, like Elder Barack said, like I spoke about earlier uh, today, we all got special gifts and we all got special talents. You know, um, you can go to work every day with Esau, okay, and work, you know, 12 hours, work eight hours, but you can't, you can, you can tell me you can't bring that gift into Israel and make it work for us. I mean, that absolutely makes no sense at all, man. You know, if any, anybody got land, Shalom, I know you've got plenty of them. Okay, yeah. but if anybody got land, you know, farm your own food. There ain't no need for you to go to Walmart and talk about the GMO food, the bad food. That's it. If you got land, share it. What are you holding it up for, man? Your parents left you a whole bunch of land, share it. Come on up here and let Bam know, man. Okay, share some of the land. If you know some place where they got acres of land for cheap, let us know on the side, man. Don't leave them out of here, man. Shit, I got 20 acres of land. I ain't getting no nothing. That's evil and that's wicked and that's selfish, man. We can't do We got to stop that, man. We got to stop that. We're the greatest people on this earth, and we got to set the example as being the greatest people. Here it is. We, the most High did everything for us, okay, to make us do brothers read. Do it on the 7 and 6. We're the greatest people on this earth, okay. We act sometimes, sometimes, not y'all in here, sometimes. We act even worse than the heathen, man. How the hell are Esau doing for each other, man? Okay? And we leave him by here, we sell the I got my 40 acres in the deal. I ain't care about that. Come on, man. That's evil. What you gonna let the land rot away, man? Let the government take it, man, because you ain't paying taxes. All right? That land could have been used for something. It could have been used for a pre training program. Okay? That could have been used for his training program. That could have been used to set up a school, build a school, build a nursery, man. Y'all complain about the perverts and y'all school teaching y'all kids. Homeschool your kids, man. All right? Grow your stuff. Complaining about the bees buzzing and the, and the raw fruit. Grow your own grapes, man. All right? When we leave here tonight, I want at least about 20 brothers to come up to me, man, and say, you know what, it makes make sense. Okay, I know where there's 10 acres of land at. Okay, I want to help you to strive to what happened, as well as these brothers as well, too, man. Because as soon as we drop the mic, we ain't going to get nobody to come up here. Right? We ain't going to get nobody to come up here. We ain't going to get nothing. Okay? That got to stop. That got to stop, man. Stop hiding your talent or the most I'm going to take it away from you. Stop hiding that gift, man. You know, a lot of you probably hit a lot tonight, man. Y'all just played the floor of the lot of you. Why y'all got to scratch off your pocket? A lot of you just can't cash your gift because it's on Saturday. They got to go to the state, Florida, and, and cash it in. No, a lot of you got it, man. Okay? Share some of it. Okay? So I can tell you. You can't outdo the most high. Whatever you give, the most, whatever you give in charity, the most high gonna give back to you triple. And trust me, I know about that, man. Whatever you give, the most high gonna let you outdo him, brother. All right, give in faith and charity. Okay, sincerity, man, because we need everything we can get to build this nation, man. All right, so I'm gonna describe the apartment. Also, um, I'm off the pantry apartment. Anything y'all brothers need, I can give it at a discount, send it to you free of charge. And uh, that's my time. That's it. All right. All for it. Show on. Yeah, you know, Elder Bustamante coming up. Elder Bustamante is part of the uh, correspondence. He's over the correspondence department of the martial arts hour. Okay, come. So Elder Bustamante, originally from Jamaica, now he resides in Ghana and has a 40, 50 man camp in school in Ghana. Come. So give Elder Bustamante a round of applause. Yeah, I just need my body 
probably should be done now. They're jet lag, they're jet lag jetting in. Um, so, brothers and sisters, give yourself a round of applause for turning out again. For each other, we have to help each other. All right, y'all here, you know? So, um, yeah, this one is about. So, Shalom, Shalom. So, as Elder Barak and um, Elder Zakwan were saying, as a nation of people, we have to do more for ourselves. Because the nation's been doing it, and um, Zakwan's stressing a point in terms of farm. You go to the store, you complain about the GMO, what you're doing about it. Right. How many of you have seeds? When I went to Ghana, I bring organic seeds with me. I bring those seeds from Jamaica. So um, those are the points that he's stressing. And um, Barack never mentioned something that's a one does. A one sell wine. So Passover coming up in a couple of months, right? So all the camp and school should get a wine from Zakwan. Leave that damn money shop is alone, man. Huh? Oh. Right? See? Brothers can tell you, when we go to Israel, we buy our wine from Demona. That's right. Right? We get our Passover wine from Demona. We do go in the supermarket sometime and get a wine here in Mount Zion. Yeah. But our feast wine comes from the community, man. So we go into Passover and here go a brother make wine, what tastes real good, and you go buy the money shabbis like like um Satan Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Brothers can tell me, when I come to Babylon and drink that thing, I said, I think give me a headache. What is this? Yeah. Right? So we have to do more, help each other, and <laughs> brothers and sisters, I'm in the correspondent department. We are in terms of Matthew 28, 19. We want to have a connection with Hebrews in the four corners of the earth. Right. So if anybody wants to help out in the department, just come and see them. Man. Tan? Tan. Shalom. Okay, Elder Banyanya, part of the history department, and now Ben's going to take over the Hebrew department also. Okay, so Elder Banyanya, part of the house of David, been in the troop almost, uh, what, is it 37 years? So Elder Ban Yum Yum. Alright, Shalom, 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 Shalom La Kam. Alright, peace to everybody, me and Kuro. Alright, so yeah, uh, uh, me and Karash will be doing the history department and also the Hebrew. Uh, we get a chance to do it today because, uh, you know, but in the future, I'll be working on the Hebrew. I'm going to be taking up on where Karash uh, left off. That's the pioneer, that's the man. <coughs> That's the man that put in a lot of work for the Hebrew. All right, so uh, I wanted to do that Hebrew class as part of, a, of a, an honor, a tribute to Karate Zahala, which he passed away uh, last year. All right, uh, memorialized that brother, a great brother, you know what I mean? Put a lot of dedication to the Hebrew, to the work that he did, you know what I mean? And he, uh, we missed that brother. He was an elder here at the house of David, you know? Many years in the truth, you know, and you see the work this brother did, man. He's putting a lot of work in the Hebrew, man. His books, the works, the Hebrews, he did a lot of work, man. Charity, man, a lot of work. He was a great brother, man, you know. But when we get over in, in Zion, we're going to see the brother, man. We're going to see that unity, man, that reunion in Zion, all right? So, most I willing. We're we'll gonna step up on the Hebrew and we're we'll gonna knock it up, alright? No. Don't feel no way, alright? No. Yes, sir. I agree. <laughs> right, gun, gun. You gotta know a lot of the Hebrew pamphlets that a lot of y'all have, that's Karaz Allah. Mm. That the yeah. Hebrew uh the Hebrew book that Karaz Allah uh, wrote. Alright, the uh the uh first five books in Hebrew, that thick Hebrew, yeah. He wrote that. He did that. All in the paleo original Hebrew. Come. And some of y'all have, some of y'all brought the book, right? That's all Quran is a hollow. So he's been studying the Hebrew for years, huh? Since Quran is a hollow, been in the truth almost 40 years, too. Mm -hmm. 
and study that Hebrew where he became almost a genius in it. Got it? So all those pamphlets and everything, which I have some in my bag, but that all comes from him. Cut. Uh, so uh, Elder Bunyan is going to take that over, but we can only, you know, we can't teach it like <laughs> Christ of Allah. Cut. Can't do like, but we can we can come close. But we can definitely begin to teach brothers, uh, sisters. Of course, the beginning stages of it. Cut. We can do that. Cut. And that's what we're going to do for the martial arts hour. So next is uh, my man here. Huh? This is this is a young man coming up. Y'all know he's a Levite, right? He's a Crawford cop, part of House of Day in Utah. Huh? And his brother can uh, read that Hebrew, right? He can speak the Hebrew. Huh? He did. He's the one that did prayers in Hebrew. And he's a student of what? Of who? Crawford Huh? That's right. And we remember when he first came in, he took on to the Hebrew real quick. That's you can see the spirit was working on to get the Hebrew. Come? And, and, he, and he's getting it. And he's learning every every day. He's learning. And he's getting better and better and better. Come? All right. So this is Kalakraka of the House of David. So give Kalakraka and Okay, so we got Elder Yakanan. Who's over the priest department of the martial arts hour? The priest department is going to let you know about we need Levites to come into the priest department, right? And y'all know that's a big department, cut, isn't it? Okay, the book of Leviticus. Read the book of Leviticus. That's all the priest department, right? Right? All right. The Leviticus is talking about the Levites, Levite priests. And the Most High gave them and commissioned them to be what? The Levites. To what to establish the commandments, laws, and statutes, and it comes through the Levites to give to the nation of Israel. Come, and so he's part of that department. This is Elder Yachanan is part of Yahweh's camp. Elder Yachanan. Come, I'm just going to be real brief. Uh, for those that took the uh, Hebrew Israelite burial class, uh, we're going to have uh, a virtual class on Makar. And I'll give you the schedule for those of you that sent uh, the email. I'll go ahead and respond to your email. My email again, even for those that are interested in the Levitical department, uh, once again, it's Yachanan, Y-A-C-H-A-N-A-N, Y-A-C-H-A-N-A-N 77 at gmail.com. So give me the book of Deuteronomy 12, 19. I'm going to be really brief. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 19. Take heed to thyself that thou forsake not the Levite as long as thou livest upon. So we're, we're keeping commandments, law, statutes, commandments. That's one of them. All right. And when you look at the word forsake, that means abandon, desert, leave, quit, depart from, leave behind, leave high, dry, reject, disown, leave stranded, leave out all of them. Uh, we got many more, but you want to make sure that you're not doing that. You don't want to forsake. So this department, as Elder Barak said, is very important. We are looking for people to establish the kingdom on earth as it is in heaven, and that's the Levitical system as well. So what we want to do is find Levites that are willing to promote, teach the Thairah, uh, also as well as teaching the prophets, the gospels, locally and nationally, uh, within the Levitical department, we want to promote what we call the law and talk, so like it, the law, uh, Torah law agreement, which Torah is synonymous with law. But even Torah is that appointing people in the right direction, and that's our job as Levites. So we're looking for those that can even be part of the burial program, to do marriages, to do weddings, to do circumcision, which uh, Kalak recalls a part of the circumcision. Uh, ministry within the Levitical department, as well as the doulas that we mentioned, that all falls under the Levitical department. Um, so that's what we're looking for. We're hoping that uh, you brothers that are Levites, I know Florida's full of them, uh, we'd like to see y'all with that intestinal fortitude come on out here. I know I tell Bam, you know, he's kind of living in paradise out here, and uh, hopefully he's not too comfortable. We got to make sure, remember y'all, yeah, this is not y'all rest. I want to remind LOZ as well, this is not y'all rest. Don't get too comfortable in Florida. So we're looking forward, forward to y'all signing up and uh, 
you know, go ahead and put your brick in in terms of what the Most High is doing. Future looks bright. Cross yes, 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 brother. Yes, Next brother down to Ash, he's part of the advisory department of Marshall Ash Allah. Ash, part of the house is David, and he's part of the advisory department. Again, looking for cooperation and brothers to come in to the advisory department. Go ahead, Elder Ash. Uh, Shalom. Shalom once again, brothers and sisters. I want to go to the book of Matthew, the 18th chapter and the 15th verse. I always start with this when I'm explaining the advisory department. The book of Matthew, chapter 18 and verse 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Now, doing this advisory, I don't get Matthew 18 and 15 a lot. But well, I do get it a lot. But the advisory is different levels. You would get advisory from uh, brothers and sisters about uh, family members, family members that's not of the faith. They didn't want the advice. Well, what should I do? I'm living in the same house and this and that. So I give that advice. And I get it, uh, I give advice to brothers and sisters on certain jobs. You know, certain brothers and sisters, they may get a job. I mean, they're doing bad, but they went out and they got the job. The job called them. Now is a problem with the savage now. So I give that advice too. But this Matthews 18 and 15, I get this a lot amongst us as Hebrew Israelites. Mm. You know, with our gossip and with our mindset. You know, when we, what I've had advised brothers when they actually wanted to come to blows with one another. But my advice to the brothers is, look, call that brother. If you came to me, give that brother a call. Right. See, the advisory, what I do, my foundation is prevention, to prevent situations. If we follow Matthews 18 and 15, we won't have to go no further. I mean, you won't have to even come to me. See, because I'm the advisor. Now, if you get past me, then there's a counsel. You got Elder Karash is the counsel. Now, if you don't want to listen to Elder Karash, then now you got the panel. Back in the days, we used to call it, you get pulled up on the carpet. You don't want to be pulled up on the carpet. <laughs> so you want to take that advice and you want to make progress right. in that advice. And most of the time, it helps. I've had sisters approach me. Sisters have issues with another sister. Okay, sister, since you approach me, call that sister. Go to that sister. Be patient. Be humble. Having your spirit in your heart, in your mind, that you want to rectify. Okay, you, you just don't want to live and have that anger and that separation in you. You want to put things back together. And that's what I tell brothers. That's what I advise them as well. You don't want to lay hands on your brother. It's a Hebrew Israelite. He's Mosai's uh, son. She's Mosai's daughter as well. You go to that man. Talk to that man and rectify that situation. Right. And prevent Satan. Prevent the left field. Let's get out of that. Okay, so that's my advisory department. When you come to me, I'm going to take you to Matthews 18 and 15. Have you done that yet? No, so my advice is do Matthews 18 and 15. See what happened, come back, and we'll take it from there. But not all the advisors, I don't get cases with brothers and sisters is, uh, uh, at one another like that. I, I don't get a lot of cases like that, but, but I do get some. But a lot of cases with family members, jobs, and uh, brothers and sisters having certain issues in their personal life. And I deal with that. Shalom. 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 Ms. Joshua, can you get Tyler Doc? Tyler Doc. Okay, next brother. Bam, stand up, Bam. Yeah. So here goes Bam. He's the man in our. We got all this talking, but Bam is the man in our. Son, from Bam over no cap. Uh, camp here in Tampa, Florida. So Bam is the host city. Bam is the host camp for the Marsh Wash Island. Huh? Huh? And he put all this together. He put it all together. So we're going to give him another camp and his whole camp. So we're going to give him a camp and the floor, our floor and put this together. Because a lot of work. Y'all don't know how much work it is to put a, a, a four day event, Marsh Wash Island four day event together. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. That's why we said, look, we're going to give to some of these young camps. We're going to do the work. It'll be a martial arts event, but they're going to do the work to put it together. But of course, 
uh, it all comes together as one in the spirit of Hamashiach and how shall I come? And Bam was ready and willing to do it, and he did it. He called me the other day and said, Brock, I'm a little nervous. I said, brother, stop, don't be nervous. I said, what do you mean nervous for? It's in your house shot. Your house shot got you back. And, I, and that's why I always pray that all the summits are peaceful, in order. I always pray for that. And the brothers and sisters are able to get here in safety. Come. That's why everything is in order. Okay? You never heard nothing bad happen at a martial arts or some heavy. Never heard nobody shooting and all that crap fighting. You never heard that, have you? Cause you're holler shot. You ain't gonna have that. Come? Never you ain't gonna have it, brother. You're not gonna have it. So again, you give uh, Bam a round of applause again for putting this all together. Four day event to put it together at a camp. Okay? So go ahead, Bam, to say something straight. Man, you know it's a it's a good honor being here with y'all. You know it's uh, I see a lot of familiar faces. My LOZ family, you know, my Texas family. We all one nation. You know, it's good to uh, you know host. You know, obviously the elders, you know, request certain things, and you got to get it done. We all have our marching orders, right? So, want to give a shout out also to my No Cat family as well. Y'all brothers holding it down as well. Sisters as well, who are part two. Salute to you, sisters. Much love to y'all. You know, we can't do it. We a nation together. So, all praise to y'all. Thank you, Brother Bam. Thank you. Shout out to security as well. Y'all kept me out of a room. All praise. You know, so, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, want to shout y'all out and then. Um, also, let's give a hand around for the elders, man. Straight up. Let me say something real quick. Just a little bit of a testimony. Uh, this testimony is here in Tampa, Florida. At the time, uh, there was it was just myself. It was uh, maybe about th two other brothers who were teaching street teaching at the time when we went out, and it was it was raw. You know, we just. Uh, I, I learned from another camp and then, you know, left that camp and it was only me here in Tampa and, and my brother Ruben in, uh, in Orlando and there was nobody here, just probably two other brothers, but I had the scriptures and we had faith, right? And we went out and we had to do the work and the work had to be done, right? So uh, it's it, when I see other camps popping up in Tampa and popping up in Florida, it's, it, it rejoices me, you know, because the word's coming out. And we know that we're gonna gather together in the last days. So, you know, being under that, you know, I you know, was introduced to the elders and they helped us out in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? And, and helped us out with, you know, a, a, a knowledge and wisdom that helped us, you know, create what we created through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yom Shai. So with that being said, you know, they never involved themselves as far as for doctrine, but counsel. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, I know sometimes doctrine gets in the way, but there's core beliefs that we do agree on. You know, the both side Christ. You know what I'm saying? And, and these are things that we can gather with with each other with. And, and if we do that and put away the bickering and the other stuff and put away the pride, we can come to a conclusion and be a nation together, right? So, you know, like I said, it's, it's you know, all praise to the Most High. Uh, Priest Kahan as well, uh, an integral part in that wisdom as well that, that helped no cap uh, be what it is today. So, you know, again, you know, so, uh, don't forget to shout out my But all praise to Yahweh, Shimmy, other side, for what? Okay, what that shout out? What that shout out? Time to talk. So, of course, you're not a nation until you have a military. Come. Come. <laughs> you're not a nation until you have security. Come. Come. So the martial arts of Allah has a security department, and that's headed by Tazadak. Okay? All the brothers that are doing security, Tazadak has been, he's the head of that. Come. Come. Every summit. Come. Come. All right, the security in here, security outside, how the doctor's running the whole thing. Security for the camp, how the doctor's running the whole thing. Come, and let me tell you this. 
Don't mess with Donald Trump. Run for the military. He will kill you. But I'm telling you, don't mess with him. Go straight out the military. We got him the first day he left the military. We got him. So he was ready. I'm serious. Okay, don't mess with him. Go ahead. Up. Tell on, tell on, y'all about showing y'all a shot by the thumb. Bring them back to doing well and enjoying themselves out here today. Uh, first, I want to give a, a big thanks to all the Ocklin that's out there that's doing security for us. I know sometimes you can see re uh, seem real busy. Uh, sometimes we, we're not on where we're supposed to be at, but you all literally are keeping everybody here safe. Um, another big thing uh, to is that we are always the brothers uh, to be on our, our safety and security. That's what we like to call it sometimes. Uh, because of the fact that if something happens medically, uh, of course we know that we have medically trained people uh, within us, that we need those skills. So it's not just about the uh, security portion, but if something happens, that we have somebody here to help us out so Esau don't have to touch none of us. That is the biggest thing that we want to ensure. So if you have any type of skill, if you're in security, you're uh, ex-police, ex-military, um, if you're a, a midwife, if you're a nurse, whatever the case if you have any of those skills, follow Kashar. Come see me, myself, or of course, Aqua uh, Sherrod, and of course we have Behind Yakin and I. Because uh, those departments have kind of merged a little bit. Because we want to make sure that everybody's congregation has somebody in there that does that. And that you also train those people to have those skills. Everybody in here should have at least basic CPR. Can everybody raise their hand who got basic CPR? We need everybody to have that. Um, for those who work for our military, we can tell you everybody from a cook to somebody in finance has basic CPR. Why don't we? We have the same people here, and we don't charge. I, I know we're trained on charging. We have the training so we can make sure that our people are properly trained. Um, everybody in here is an expert at something. So give that talent. So once again, if you have a security background, if you have a martial art background, if you're a boxer, if you're a fighter, whatever it is, we're trying to build up those men. So how many, when we say that, how many warriors we got in here? That's it? That's it? That's it? That's it? That's not enough. That's not enough. How are we going to go to war? That's not enough. Come on, kill us. Y'all like the time of doing it during Gideon when they said those that left like a dog. The rest go home. Wasn't that many left. Every brother's hand should have been up. That's right. Every brother's two hands should have been up. That's right. Every brother's hand, when he made that statement, every brother should have stood up their hand, should have been up in the air. Everybody's a warrior, man. That's right. Everybody's ready. Now, he gonna say this again. <laughs> Where are all my warriors at? Ooh. Ooh. I'm like, keep them hands up. So at 0730 in the morning, we're gonna be out here. <laughs> That's right. Let's go. That's right. So that Bring means it out. everybody who is able to go to war. Bubba Kishar, if you have the opportunity to come out here, it's a lot of brotherhood, a lot of brotherly love, and technically we just out here to support each other and show us, hey, we can, we can do it, all right? Because once again, if you call yourself a warrior, I mean, it's cool to be a spiritual warrior, but when you start walking down the street and you start breathing real hard, <laughs> and, and we haven't even got to do nothing yet. So it's just, but it's, the goal is to, to give us all that same type of information so when you go back to your congregation, i got a little thing to work on. That's what the goal is. It's not just, we know we can read scriptures, but are we applying them also? Because we got to not only be spiritually fit, but we should also be physically fit. To your ability, not to, what's some of them brothers at? This brother go over there. I was watching him early. I was going to pass out watching him. So to your own level, all right? So for those of you who are able to come out, if you do have injuries, we'll find out anyway. So we'll be here in the morning, this same spot, right there in the front, at 0730, all right? At about, we give you sometimes a 12-minute grace period, but after that, we're starting. And then, uh, for this summer, we're actually going to have some of the clients come out 
And what we're going to end up doing is basic camp 101. So not just, uh, it won't be just a physical thing, but it'll also be how to set up your camp. Now, we know everybody knows how to set up their own camps when they're out there, but we're just trying to streamline, especially when we do the summits. Because sometimes it can get a little chaotic out there. So we all know that when it comes time for the summit, that, hey, this is how we're going to do the camp. Or this is how we're going to line up, and this is how we're going to do security. All right, and, uh, once again, as soon as I walk off the stage, hopefully, whether it's medical or whether it's some, there's some people that have security who may not show up to the training, at least come and time contact me so I can put you on one of our lists. But we do do other training, but I'm not telling you all that unless you're actually contacting me, because we don't publicize our stuff. All right, that's it. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come and also, the Mosh Rush Allah also has a marketing department. Uh, Ephraim, stand up, Ephraim, so they can just know. This is a brother part. Are the other brothers here? Part of the marketing department, the Mosh Rush Allah. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, Khan. That's Ephraim, he's part of the marketing department, the Mosh Rush Allah. Okay, Khan. Uh, we have also the brother that does the coat drives, Yakanan. Come on, let's, let's stand up here in the front, Yakanon. This is Yakanon of the Delaware Camp, Hebrew Pro the Left, who does the coat ride, which is also part of the pantry department that Elder uh, Laquan does. So this is uh, Yakanon, Captain Yakanon of the Hebrew Chosen and Left, the Delaware Camp, and he does the coat ride every uh, winter around the time of Hanukkah come. And we did it this Hanukkah, and it went well in Delaware. But now the coat drive, because we initiated it uh, at the Delaware Summit, those of you at the Delaware Summit, he initiated it, now it's a national coat drive. Come. Come. So if you need a coat, I don't care what state you're in, you contact uh, Yakadon, and he'll send you a coat. He got coats left over, too. Uh, but a lot of children's coats, but he got adult coats also. And so he gets, he gets extra coats every year. Okay, and so there's a whole lot of coats, so we've got to give him out. And so we're going to extend the, uh, that department into the pantry department. And Ellis Aquari gives out different merchandise and everything, right? Free. So if you want different merchandise, you call it, contact Ellis Aquari. What does he do? Send you a box of merchandise. Whatever it is, come. Come. For free. Okay? So especially those of us that are in need, come. Come. So this, this is Captain Yakanon. So give it a Yakanon. Yakanon, you want to give me the information real quick? Uh, great, great uh, my name is Captain Yakanon from uh, Hebrew Chosen Elect. And like the said, uh, we pass coats. You know, in the wintertime for anybody who needs it, you know, we help fire victims. We help fire victims, orphans, and um, even people who have lost their homes. So um, if you're able to make a contribution, you can make any contribution at uh, Cash App. B D A zero one cash tag B D A N I E zero one at cash app or if you got any physical donations give me up on Facebook and I give you a mail address. All right, call me a shout. Call me a shout. Right. Uh, I'm still missing something. Something is still missing. Something is still missing. We have to capitalize on our clothing department. We need sisters. That's right. Sisters to capitalize on our department to market our own clothes. Right. Make our own brand. Right. You understand? Right. We gotta make our own brand of fashion of clothes amongst That's us right. too. Right. So, um, well, sisters willing to step up, you know what I mean? All right? So that's, that's a big thing too. We create our own fashion. All right? All right, show them one. Right, because now, uh, I'm discussing with uh, the Ephraim in the marketing department, uh, we have a products area in, in the uh, MarshallRyanShallot.com, the website. So we want the products, and some of y'all want to see some of the products out here tonight, and the vendor set up, you want to see some of the products. So we want to put those products now in the website. Come. come. So when you go to the website, you can order from the website. Okay, come. Uh, we don't need Esau. We got everything here. Okay, uh, we got Sister Shirah. Stand up, Shirah. Stand up, Shirah. She taught the midwife class. Guess who Shirah has? Right. 
Well, we had a nice class. It was a good class, right? Sister Bennett, right? Well, Sister Gerard is a doctor. Full-fledged doctor. Come. Come. Sister Gerard, you have doctors that come in the Marshall Arts Hall. Come. Right. Come. So we have doctors in the Marshall Arts Hall. Come. And she's going to be teaching the midwife class in the Marshall Arts Hall. Okay, come. And she's also part of the health department in the Marshall Arts Hall. Come. Come. And she, we, she gave us, she donated safety kits. First aid kits to the martial arts all of Come. Because we need that. Something, something happened here. You know what I'm saying? You need a first aid kit. We have it. Come. Okay. So that's Sister Sharon. We have the transportation department. Mayan. You stand up. She's part of the transportation department. She came up with that idea on her own. We didn't come up with that idea. She came up with that idea on her own. And we said, oh, that's a good idea. So what she what she said is when the summits come, she would uh, rent a rent a van or whatever and drive brothers and sisters from the uh, airport to their hotel or from the hotel to the airport or whatever. Come, okay. whatever's needed. Okay. So she kept that idea on her own. Come, uh. that's a good idea. All right. So that's Sister Marianne, part of the transportation department, and of course we need more people part of these departments as we continue. And it gets bigger and bigger. We need um, uh, brothers and sisters to come on into these departments. We have uh, officers. We have officers in the martial arts hour. Okay, Khan. And we need even elders, more elders to come into the martial arts hour. Right, Yahweh? Yeah, we need more elders. Okay, so we need more, more of, of the building process to take place in the martial arts hour. Khan. Khan. Now on your table. You have, and we also have the Treasury Department with Elder Zaquan. Elder Zaquan, where'd you go? <laughs> where'd you go, man? Elder Zaquan is also part of the Treasury Department. Speak, want to speak on that for a second or two? Y'all know what it is. Y'all know the word treasure, and y'all know the word read me. Okay? <laughs> Putting together is treasury. Okay? You know a lot of y'all are in school, you're smart. I ain't got to go into no deep dark saying on that Treasury Department. Okay? <laughs> y'all can unlaugh. It's just right. The treasure department, treasure, right. Y'all y'all know what it is. Y'all work. A lot of y'all got good jobs out there. I'm looking at some of the brothers out there now smiling. Y'all smiling for a reason. Okay? <laughs> y'all smiling for a reason, okay? Um, we gonna send a young man around. Okay, we're gonna send a young man around right here with the uh with the donation box, put a dollar in there, two dollars, whatever hey, uh Shalomar. That's great. Whatever you feel, you're gonna go start on the uh, right on the right side, just go around, uh, so we can, you know, replenish this and you know, recycle everything. Okay, nobody, listen, nobody up here, nobody up here is on payroll. Man. Nobody's up here on payroll. Nobody's getting paid for this. We do it out of this out of sincerity and love. Okay, and our will. Okay, and our love for doing this for y'all. Okay, so nobody's on the payroll here. We're gonna just recycle it. Okay. Um, at the end of this, when Elder Barack finished, we got more food out there. We got a good menu for y'all. You had to eat, okay? Women and kids, uh, kids and women first. And um, all vendors are going set up as well, too. So, again, Treasury Department, uh, we have the barcodes as well, too. For all y'all said, oh, I don't I don't got no cash. Don't worry about it. I got the barcode on the table. Don't worry about that. I took care of that. I got the market pulled on the table. Don't worry about that. I took care of that. Okay, so uh, we got the barcodes on the table so you can scan it and make a, um, you know, donation um, with the cash. Yeah. All praise to the most high. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Shalom. Okay, shalom, shalom. Now, we want to um, give this shout out to all the bro brothers in the camps that are here. Okay, they came from the different states. Okay, come. Uh, our first having a list is LOZ. We want to give LOZ a shout out. We, 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 we see Shalomar, see Elder Kahan, and all the LOZ brothers. Right. And we love LOZ. Right. LOZ started out with us in 2014. And we are going to continue to see LOZ support the martial art that's all. So we give it a shout out to LOZ, Light and Zion. Okay, they're the ones with the music and everything. Right. And they're going to play more music, okay? They're going to pump it up. Pump it up, pump it up. We have uh, Shield of Wisdom. We're Shield of Wisdom. No, not Shield of Wisdom. Swarm, I'm sorry, I'm going to say it. Huh? Swarm of Wisdom, come. Street. Street of Wisdom. 
I, I, I'm, I'm still trying to get it right, Akia. Oh, right, excuse me for that. Stream of wisdom. So y'all stand up. We're stream of wisdom. Mommy, you know what they stand up? <laughs> I okay. Do I have Akia? All right. Kazakia. Right. Zionala. Right. right. All your brothers. The water, man, for coming. They always support at the summit. They always support, man. From Buffalo, man. Yeah. They came from Buffalo also. Rochester. Oh, Rochester, right. They always support. And we know they came down in Virginia. So they always support. Stream of wisdom. Okay? And uh, what is BOCC? With BOCC. Y'all stand up too, huh? That's right. Uh, we got to go from London. The third one. The third one. Here's a brother from Europe. Let's get, step up here in the front real quick. The guy one. The reason why is because we know this brother from way back. This is going back to 464 and 26th Street, House of David. And this brother left that time at the House of David and went straight to London and built up a camp in London and Europe. Come, get died on. That's right. This brother's been in two, how long you been in, 30 years? 30 years, huh? And give the brother a hand on the floor, huh? 30 years. Get died on. That's right. And the camp in London. So if the brother can come from London and Ghana, right, what's your problem? You know, what's our people's problem, right? And then they're right here in the United, so-called United States. They can't get to the summits. Right, Con? Con. Well, there you go. Okay. We have uh, LOI, Lions of Israel. That's right. Oh, Daniela. Daniela. Right. Right. Daniela. Daniela. Right. He's over Lions of Israel. He's here in the house tonight. Okay. Lions of Israel. Daniela. Please, Daniela. And, uh... Who's that? Who's that? Oh, Gabar. Where's Gabar? Come here, Gabar. Yeah. <laughs> this brother's right down here in Tampa, right, Con? Uh, uh, Con. Oh, Con. This is Gabar. Come on, Gabar. Right. Stay right here in front. Brother been in truth, uh, really, over 40 years, right? Come? 30 years, That's 35 right. years, right? And got a camp here in Ocala, uh, Florida. So, uh, yeah, Ocala, Florida, right? I believe it. All kinds of names. Uh, right. So again, get the bar around the floor, now. I just wanted, I just wanted to say that this brother right here, Barack, he's the one that came to here to Florida from New York and ordained our school. <laughs> That's right. I remember that. So, brother, just myself and Ben is there. Right. Uh, we got here. Charles Island, the Hebrew brother. Charles Island was there. And the Yeah. Okay, come. All right, the House of David. With the House of David. Huh? House of David. Are there three of us? Okay, House of David is here from New York. Okay. They go four and raw, House of David. <laughs> Where's one cop? Four is our cop. There is the fact. Okay. That's House of David. And then of course you got my young men and you got Osh. They up here. And your Howard Bob right here. And your Bob, yes. They're part of the House of David. Come. Give right. a round of applause. Is Ron the dog still there? Ron the dog? Brother Ron the dog still there? Huh? They all left? Well, they were here. Okay, they were here. Uh, they have camps in uh, Connecticut. And uh, they're here in Florida also. And Orlando. Right. Come. Okay. Uh, Hebrew chosen elect. Okay. Yakanon. From Delaware, Hebrew chosen elect, the right there. Okay, they're here. All right. All right. Okay, and your house camp from North Carolina. Okay, 
Get it all right for you. How is that, North Carolina? That is the Grand Yacon Eagle. Okay. Right. Right. I took all this time. <laughs> First off, shalom, shalom, and shalom to Yasha. Um, we're happy to be here. I promise you, we have more than just two brothers. <laughs> I promise you that. Right? Um, I'm going to bring out a quick precept. Give me uh, Romans 12 and 10. Got it. It's the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 10. Be kindly affectionate one to another. And the amount of affection and the amount of love that we have in this room is probably some of the most affectionate and love that we've all felt in our entire lives. Right? We have families, we have loved ones, but I think that the love that we have as Israelites is probably more than the love that our family has. Um, you know, the scriptures say that the world loves its own, right? But because we're not of this world anymore, I'm sure a lot of people have lost those same family members. You know, <laughs> I know I have. Uh, keep going. It says, be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love. And that's that brotherly love, right? Keep going. In honor, preferring one another. And Elder Mathakawa brought out a great point. He said that we should be getting our wine from Elder Zaguan, right? Oh. That's a perfect example of us having that, uh, we're preferring one another, right? We get our stuff from our people and not from Esau, right? Not from Elam, right? Moab, he can kick rocks, right? But we want to get our stuff from our people. Right, so I have a bunch of wine. It's delicious. Uh, I've fallen asleep to plenty of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's an insight, you know. <laughs> but um, hit me uh, Matthew 12 and I'm gonna start at uh, 48. Oh, snap. Yes, please. Come. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 48. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? Who is our mother and who are our brethren? Right? Keep going. Verse 49. And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. And that's what we say to you guys. We say, Behold, our brothers, our sisters, our mothers. Our fathers. That's right. Right? Um, keep going. Verse 50. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. And that's what separates us from the world. Right? We're trying to do the will of our Heavenly Father. Right? Um, real quick, and I know we already did this, but I want to give a sincere thanks to NOCAP for hosting. Because I know it takes a lot. Right? We, we, hosted, we hosted the 18th summer. Um, and that was crazy. Man, we had to do security. We had to get food. We had to get drinks. We had to get a lot of stuff. And that wasn't even including the accommodations. It was pretty uh, pretty tough. But um, also, I also wanted to come up here uh, as Elder was talking about, the marketing team, right? I'm a part of the marketing team, and we're doing a, a, a bunch of uh, new things, right? We got new logos, we got new banners, we have new uh, cards coming. Um, if anybody, I would prefer each camp donate a member, but that's in a perfect world. We're not there yet. So if any brothers and sisters want to join the marketing department, by all means. Reach out to me. Uh, we'll see if we can make something work. Um, also, he was talking about the product page on the Masharai Yasharala website. Right? It's coming up soon. If you brothers and sisters got any products that you want to sell, by all means, hit me up again. And um, we'll see if we can get that stuff on 
uh, on the page, right? And get your stuff sold out there. Um, I'm thinking that we're also going to do some commemorative shirts for this summit. That's right. Right? So um, look out for that. But uh, I think the first shirt that I'm going to make, or that we are going to make, is um, that we are proud to say that we are at the No Cap Tampa Summit. <laughs> and with that, I say, Kwan Yashal. And then there's one more camp, one more brother, Yara. Yara, what's your brother at? In D.C.? Come on, your brothers from Washington, D.C. Yeah, camp. Give a little round of applause. Do they have a, do you have a camp name? Sons of David, wow, okay, Sons of David, how about that, okay, I didn't even know that, the Sons of David is here. No, we didn't miss nobody, out, but we want to also thank all the sisters for helping out, okay, Con, we were the people without the sisters, right, the sisters helped out, uh, we had the midwife class, sisters attended that, and again, we want to invite more sisters to participate and uh, cooperate and, and come into the martial arts channel, like Wonderman said, with the sisters' uh, sewing department. We need a sewing department, right? And get sisters involved like that also, all right? And whatever your skill is, whatever your particular skill is, or your talent, you get involved in the martial arts channel. So let's give the sisters a round of applause. All three, now we're going to the martial arts channel. Okay, so, yeah, sons, sons of Zion, where are they? Huh? Okay, Sons of Zion. Did we miss Sons of Zion? Stand up. Uh, sons of Zion? That's brother right here? Oh, the, okay. Sons of Zion, okay. Sons of Zion, where are they from? Orlando, okay. Shalom, shalom. Okay, I'm glad the brother mentioned it. I, we don't want to forget nobody, but this is Sons of Zion from Orlando, Florida. Okay? Shalom, shalom. So, okay. So, okay. So, uh, L-O-Z, shalom. We need, we need your, uh, your music talent. Yo, we got we to gotta, uh, bring back the Marshall Rasha Olive Music Group, it just might be the light of Zion. It's just a, that's, that's the light of Zion talent right there, the music group. Bring it back. Oh, hey, Shaq. Another camp, you say? Oh, okay. Okay, so I'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk. L-O-Z, okay, so we'll talk, we'll talk. Okay, so all the brothers who are playing the music will come back up. We got Shalomar. So Shalomar, you have to say the prayers? Or yeah, let him do everything, Barack. You say the prayers first, and then you come to leave out with the music. Okay, so our marjum will put you up with them. So what we're going to do is, where's Bam at? So, so after the summit, of course, after this, as we say the prayers and everything, we're done with the music. Uh, they're going to serve the food, so women and children first, go through that center door, and then the brothers are going to serve the food. Come. And then the brothers are going to uh, set up their tables for the vendors and everything. Come. So we're going to do it all in order. Okay? So don't, don't, rush, don't rush the doors for the food now. Okay? Do it all in order. Okay? So a mother will put up with them, face to the east, the brothers are going to say the prayers. Ba shum, ba shum, 
Yahawisha, Yahawisha, Oh, my God. 
I go on the road. Then, I'm going to take it and I'm going to do it out there. All right? Thank you. 
Hey, come on, I'm about to get, come on, man. Hey. Y'all want to see how much I'm about to get? Come on. Hey, 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 yeah, I pray to you out of one day, my people see them carry us. Spread in the word of those streets for my people not hearing us. What we do? I pray that we make it through the fire. And this word gon' take us higher, yes I know. Hey, hey, I pray to you out of one day, my people see them carry us. Uh, spread in the word of those streets for my people not hearing us. What we do? I pray that we make it through the fire. And this word gon' take us higher, yes I know. Babylon, get some trap inside with these wicked demons. How to lose the I had the faith of a mustard seed. Now I gotta take it right into my garden and watch it grow into a bunch of trees. Go to prosperity, it's a something that I, I cannot quit. I cannot quit. Get back on the days I was misguided. I ruined this. I ruined this. Why do I hear it? I gotta cherish it. I'm trying to live. Yeah. Yes, I got so much to give. Yeah. We can't be saved until it's the end. I'm staying strong. I cannot switch. I'm hanging on. I gotta be good. Hey. I pray to y'all in one day, my people see them carry us. Spread in the word of those trees, so my people not hearing us. Uh, I pray that we make it through the fire. This word gon' take us higher, yes I know. Hey, hey, I pray to y'all in one day, my people see them carry us. Uh, spread in the word of those trees, so my people not hearing us. I pray that we make it through the fire. This word gon' take us uh, Yes, I know. We were through the chains of the yoke. Twelve times old. He was so used to the old me. I cannot hang with the jokes. Yeah, I don't change for the best. Never gonna let it die. Nah, they ain't in my lane. It's a woke. And you should be woke too. Rich and talk. Yes, yeah, old news. Yeah, I don't change for the Now I know I'm driving this shooter. I cannot ride with no shooter. I can see with that sword on my head. And I'm screwed. I'm gonna fight you. 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 I'm gonna fight
demons that got us defeated. But it's on the rise up, got my eyes up with flames because I'm heated. It's on sight when they see us. Girls come in on sight, they can't reach us. The way you pass, they can't teach us. Gotta get the bottle trapped, it's my defense. Probably get beat with Bill. Last day is getting real. Keep the commandments, you won't be protected, but if you don't, you'll be killed. Uh, slave shit. Hey, I want to pray. Yeah, it's wrapped in the sea. 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 It's he was coming, 20 and he was coming, huh? He was coming, huh? The heat was coming. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we study prophets. Last days, we in the presence. We don't got much options. Living curses, we need some blessings. Bodies filling coffers. People dying like every second, and it's never stopping. So much trials and this oppression, man, is crazy. But we cannot lose faith. No more hard for the truth to take. Tell them our people that need to come back to the most high, so it's too late. Old man, gotta cut them off. Get a day, get a new day. Bounce back when I fall down, can't shoot straight. Cause we can't pull no God. He gon' keep us close. Take away that pride. That was time to grow. I go with my brother. That's what I was told. Try to set that golden heaven till it overflows. Uh, that's a fact. We was slipping lavish. Now we go and ride the track. Came up out the road. I pray I'm never going back. Got to say the laws done away with. Yeah, that's God. We not having that. Promise you coming through back to back. Say the shit. Uh, yeah, that's prophecy. That's prophecy. Brave shit. Uh, yeah, that's prophecy. That's prophecy. Nameless. Uh, yeah, that's prophecy. That's prophecy. Uh, yeah, that's prophecy. Switch. Uh, ain't no stop. Be less than less than hope. Say the shit. Uh, yeah, that's prophecy. That's prophecy. Brave shit. Uh, yeah, that's prophecy. That's prophecy. Nameless. Uh, yeah, that's prophecy. That's prophecy. No lane switch. Uh, ain't no stop. Be less than less than hope. Shalom, shalom. Barakatha Yahawa! of the summit, the barbecue, come. So it's beautiful, see everybody came out here. And the brother Bam, this was the second spot for the barbecue. The first spot, he said, that's not good enough. So he said, let's get a spot by the water. And you see the water out there, 
It may be a little windy, but so what? It's nice out. It's still nice. Better than New York. Right? It's better, than New York. better than New York, right? Everything's better, better than New York. Better than New York. Better than Philly? Yeah, better than a lot of places. So, um, I'm glad to see everybody here. That's why the Most High said, Blessed are the meat, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And that's, that's, that's Israel. That's you. Okay? That's you. Blessed are the pure in heart, right? But they should be called the children of the Most High. So that's you. And we're glad to see everything was successful. From the meet and greet was successful. Kun. Uh, the, uh, the camp went very well. Right, those at the camp? This is what the camp went very well. I mean, that was a perfect camp spot. And I told Bam, don't ever lose that spot. Huh? You know, he told me there was another camp that was there. But I said, don't, don't lose that camp spot. Make sure you're consistent. Don't lose it. That's the perfect spot there. Okay? And so that, the camp went well. The most I blessed the camp. And all the bullets came out. Right? That was success. And then the summit itself, a success. Okay? That's why I always pray that summits go peaceful and in order. It was a success. Okay, Con? And, this, and now the barbecue. A success. Con? And all you are back here for the barbecue. That's the way a, a four-day event supposed to be, Con. And the vendors, they had the vendors and all the merchandise and everything for sale, right? And what did you do? You brought the merchandise from Israel, okay? Prepared for you by Israel, from Israel, bought from Israel, right? So, and that's how it should be, Con. And uh, the, the marketing department is going to put all this stuff on the uh, website, on the product line on the website. So we're gonna get all that together. Mm -hmm. And so now you can you can go to the website and you wanna purchase something from Athathua, you can do it. You wanna purchase Elder Quan's books, you can do it. You wanna purchase the uh, uh, the menorahs, right? right? This is right. Uh, stuff from uh, um, uh, Stream of uh, Wisdom. I keep forgetting. Stream of Wisdom. Okay, they make handcrafted stuff, right? Handcrafted, everything is handcrafted, right there and there, right for you. Right, so all that stuff, uh, and that's beautiful. So I just want to say uh, we appreciate all y'all coming out for this 20th celebration, Martial Royal Yashallah Summit. Let's get the most side, uh, how about some? I'm going to try to drop a hand for that. That's a beautiful thing, man. Right? The most side taught, said, said to Israel, assemble yourselves together. All right? Assemble yourselves together, or nation not decided. Gather yourselves together. Forsake not to come together in unity. Okay, that's what we need. Unity. Remember, one body is what we are. I don't care what camp you're from, I still love you as a brother. I don't care. I don't care what Israelite school you're from, I still love you as a brother. Okay? Understand that. I don't care. Now, if you tell me you're not going to salute me, that's on you. See? That's on you. Most I said, you're going to heap coals of fire upon your own head. Okay? And if you offend one of these little ones, you may as well take a millstone around your neck and be hung and cast into the ocean. So that's an offense. I salute you, you're not going to salute me now you didn't offended me. Right? And if I go to the most side and say, most side, a brother didn't a, a salute me with a salute, the most side will look into that and will investigate that. So we got to be careful what we do to each other. Come on. And we got to love one another. That's why Yahweh Shah said, a new commandment I give thee, that you love one another as I have loved thee. Right? And that was the example that we're supposed to do for each other. Not hate on one another, not, not um, uh, cast evil spirits on one another. Okay? Not be jealous and envious of one another. Not hope for another one's downfall. Brothers hoping for your downfall. Hoping the Masharaya Sha'ala don't work. <laughs> We've had that. Okay? You gotta cease and desist. <laughs> okay, we had brothers tell us that before. Damn that so cease and desist. Yeah, right. But it's not gonna work. Because this is of your Shai, Con. Okay? You can only do you can only do for the most high. If you come against the most high, you're coming against your own soul. Okay? You're a fool for doing that. So I want to thank all you brothers. Again, uh, Elder Zaquan. <laughs> Come on, Elder Zaquan. <laughs> Again, if you can donate, 
the brother has the uh, barcode and all that. If you can donate, donate. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you something. Okay, the the money in Esau's will is only as good as it, as, as it's for, right? All it is is money. But you know, in Esau's world, you can't do nothing without it, Con. So we're still in Esau society. So we don't care. Look, Barack Obama ran a billion dollar campaign getting donations, five dollars here, a dollar here, two dollars here, right? Ended up being a billion dollar campaign, right? And I know our people are what? Our people were the ones that put him in office. That's right. And gave him the billion dollars. So when our people say they don't have nothing, that's a damn lie. You put a trillion dollars into Esau's economy every year. Gun? Every year. How rich is Michael Jordan? Too rich. Right, too rich. But you buy sneakers. Right? They say he makes 38, 40 million dollars, what, a year or a day or something like that? And you give him that. So our people have the resources. So we're just saying, for the martial law of Sha'ala, so it can economically be able to do what we have to do. Yeah. Get the venues, get the food, get the parks. Right, Bam? Bam can tell you. He knows now, he's experienced. <laughs> right? It all takes resources. Because Esau society, you can do nothing without money in Esau society, right? Yeah. So that's why we ask for the small donations. And small donations, we ain't asking for no thousands of dollars. So, um, so El uh, where's uh, Ella Zaquan, right? Ella Zaquan. <laughs> well, they know they know what it is. Marshara, Marshara, Marshara M A S H R Y A H L A. All right, that's the cash app. M A S H R Y A H L A. That's the cash app. Con. Yeah. You donate a dollar, two, or three. You know, if you got ten. Look. Why does the Most High make some people richer than others? Huh? Why is, didn't you have say the poor you always have? But then amongst some of us, he makes some of us richer than others. Because the Most High want to see what we're going to do. That's why he says, give to your brother. Your brother's in need, right? Don't, don't, don't uh, negate the bowels of love that you have and that you have the materialism to give it to him, don't stop that from him, right? Don't not give that to him. So the most I want us to be able to give because he made some of us richer and some of us poor. That's right. And we want to see what you're going to do with that. And what did he tell the rich man? He told the rich man, give all, if you want to, you really want to do and have. make it to the kingdom of heaven, sell all that you have, give to the poor, and come follow me. And some of you say, but I'm rich, I got, I'm okay, I'm good. Are you really good? Then give all you have to the poor, right? Follow and come follow your Havashai, right? So that's what your Havashai expects. So uh, with that, I'm gonna have um, Bam say something, I'm gonna have El Zaquan say something, Madatua, Banyamyan, Elder Ash, come on up. Yeah, big right, come on, ba uh, Bam. I want no. you to say something. So we <laughs> want to give Bam a round of applause for putting the summit together, and it did a very good job. Okay, go ahead. What else? Come here, Shala. Come here, Shala. Hey, man. All man, give give the the cooks a round of applause right. too, man. I know Cap Brothers, man, they've been uh, doing it. All praise to the Most High. We got Kayala over there with his hands up, you know, uh, Judah being humble as always. Um, and all praise to the Most High. You know, it's it's a great honor to do this. Uh, I think my first summit was in LOZ, uh, one of the first ones that y'all hosted. And uh, y'all gave a good example, man. So salute to y'all elders over there in LOZ. And y'all gave me a good example. So salute to y'all elders, man, for real. Uh, Elder Yak, man, y'all... Right hand man over there, you know what I'm saying? Let's give a shout out to Elder Yakanan, all the elders of HODC, all right? Uh, Elder Barak, Elder Matatawa, man, there's some good brothers, man. Seriously, like Elder said, I don't care what camp you are, I love you. You know what I'm saying? How do you know all these different camps together right. and not harming each other, not 
bickering and fighting and right. dividing each right. other. How about this? How about we come together in the spirit of brotherhood? Right. How about that? Right? Instead of dividing on what we could divide on, why don't we unite on what we could unite on? That is what Mas the Salakia, the Masro Ayasha Allah is about. Right? And I'm a testament to that. And all praise on to Yah Bashim Yahu Shai. So all praise to the Most High. And uh, with that, are you? Yeah. Hey, Barack. All right, so that's BAM, no cap. Hey, Barack, let me. hosted the 20th Masharash Allah Summit. Okay, hold on. Hold on a minute. Come on up, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say, uh, Shalom Lakam, Shalom Lakam, call Akim Akiwaf. Everybody know what that means, right? Shalom Lakam, call Banyam Yashar Allah, Wa Akiwaf. What does that mean? <laughs> Peace to everybody. Peace to all. Plural. Shalom lakam to the brothers and the sisters. All right. Uh, it's a beautiful event. I'd like to thank all the brothers that came out that supported LOZ. Big up LOZ. Shalom. Great job, man. I love it, man. All right. Uh, no cap. All the brothers. Stream of wisdom. All the camps, man, that came out, man. Big up, man. All praises to the Most High. Let's strive for the brotherhood, the love, the unity, and let's strive to make it into the kingdom of the Most High. Always remember, repent, repent. That's the key to everything, man. All right? I'm not going to be long. One more thing. Brothers, it's good that we all could have the brotherhood, drink, party. But remember, we got to train. We got to train. That's number one. We got to stay in shape. We got to do our thing, man, because it's coming. It's right around the corner, right? The revolution is coming, brother. Get your minds ready, mentally and psychologically, all right? This is a warfare, brothers, all right? The man is a, the most high is a man of war. I say Shalom. Shalom. Okay, Elder Zaquan, come on up. Y'all know Elder Zaquan, right? Tell that was a quan, you want more wine. That's what we want, more wine. <laughs> you can want, but I ain't got it. Right? I'm a man of few words. Hey, listen, all praise to the most silent. Shout out Shalomar and the brother Kahan over there. Uh, Priest Kahan for you know, putting this together and the brother Bam as well too. I'm a man of few words. Listen, um, listen, y'all brothers stay in this, man. You know, no matter what Satan is attacking, man, y'all brothers stay in this no matter what. You know, if you got to go someplace, man, to a quiet place, man, to pray, to get away from spirits, man, you stay in this. We didn't got no, we, we don't have an option. We don't have no option. Like I tell brothers all the time, we don't have any option but to stay in this. What else are we going to do, Shalomar? I'm trying to get some of that land from you. I know you got plenty of it. Okay, but we trying to stay, in, we trying to stay in this thing. I see Priest Jack laughing. We going to stay in this thing, man. Okay, I don't want to look at him. I don't want to give him too much eye contact. We got to stay in this thing, man. Okay, but all praise to the Most High, man. I love y'all brothers, man. If y'all have, listen, and we're looking for um, marketers. We're looking for, um, also, I know I'm looking for somebody um, to come and uh, consist. Yeah, right. Uh, with me, uh, with the uh, scribe department. We're looking for officers as well, too. So um, any of y'all talents, it don't make no damn sense for y'all to go to Esau. You work 8 and 12 hours a day. You give Esau all your talents, but when it comes to Israel, you're hot. I ain't even, mm -hmm. Mm, right. What them brothers talking about, man? man that, we don't think the Most High gave you the talent for, man, as administrators, man. Okay? And as what? Security men. What do you think? Nurses, medical people. What do you think the Most High gave you the talent for anyway? So you can assist, okay? And you can build on the talent within Israel. You can give Esau 100%. You can give the Most High 200%. Yeah, yeah. So what's the problem? I don't understand it, man. When it comes to doing for us, nobody wants to go full tilt. Kalat. With the most high. We gotta come out of that, man. I love y'all brothers, and we're gonna do something else in the in the near future as well, too. So man, I love y'all brothers, man. Y'all have a good time, man. This is Unity at its height. Unity 2.0. All right. So this is Unity 2.0 right here. Let's not discourage this, man. And we love this right here, man. All praise to the most high. King Shalomar. We love y'all, man. All praise to the most high. All right. Uh Yakanan or Elder Ash. Elder Ash, wanna come up? <laughs> No, no, I'm good, I'm good.
Shalom, brothers and sisters. Yeah, Shalom, brothers and sisters. Kwam Yashala. Kwam Yashala. Now to you, brothers. All those hands last night, and everybody standing up said they're going to meet us at 7.30 in the morning. Damn. It was only nine of us. Let me say this. We're, we're one unit in the Masharah now. I know you have your, your various camps and you're doing training and, and, and you have curriculum in your various camps, but when we come as the Masharah, we are one unit. Is that a con? And who we out there in the streets, and you have your families, you have your wives, your children out there in the streets, we gotta know what to do. So that's why that training is there, so we can train on what to do. And we don't do anything and, and, and everything be scattered out. We want to perfect what we do as a unit. Right. That means if we have to restrain people from hurting our sisters and hurting our children and hurting our brothers, we have to perfect that. We have to deal with it on a professional level. Not like gremlins out in the street running everywhere, grabbing, they call our staff sticks, grabbing the sticks and, and trying to defend. No, we got to deal on a professional level. So next summit, we want to see everybody out there, all brothers that's able, especially you young men. You got to be out there, man, because the Masra is only one unit. Is that a con? Because we had to repeat this last night. The brother said, who going to make the training? Nobody said nothing. I had to second that. We all warriors. That's what the brother asked. Where are the warriors? Right. Nobody said anything. Yeah, so we had to get the mic again. Where are all the warriors? Brothers held up two hands, stood up on three feet. You know, <laughs> didn't see them out there this morning, though. But I'm not beating you down because this is love. Remember the Sabbath service? We went into charity. First Corinthians, First Corinthians, the 13th chapter. Charity is not something that you give. It's not finance. It's love, L-O-V-E. And if you're looking for power, if you're looking for that spirit, it's in L-O-V-E. It's in the love. It's in charity. Because the scriptures say that you can feed the homeless, you can give, you can clothe people, you can do all work, you can teach for 30 years, but if you don't have charity, it means nothing. That agape love. You can become a martyr in this world. You can sacrifice your life, your family. If you do not have charity, it means nothing. So those are the levels that we have to become. We have to get on those levels. Because when, when, when you tap into love for one another and respect and unity, it connects you with the heavenly lens, which is the heavenly eyes, which is the spirit realm. And that's where your power is at. Okay, the scriptures say it's best to prophesy, but prophesy, that's not really where the power is at. It is a power, but charity is the key. Con? Uh, and I love every brother and sister, children out right, here. Uh, and like what we used to say years ago, brothers used to say, I would give my life for my people. But, what do you say, Ben? But what? It have to be in righteousness. Don't go out there and do anything foolish and call me or call any of these brothers. It will have to be in righteousness. Then we will go all out. We have to perfect what we are doing. That's the spiritual. That's the teaching and also the training. Don't just look at the training. You're gonna come out there in the morning, you're getting up. You have to discipline yourself. I went to bed at what, two o'clock in the morning, but I had to discipline myself. You know, got me a few drinks or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna do this much. I'm gonna be in the bed at two, I'm gonna be up at six, and I'm gonna be on the battlefield at 7.30. That's the discipline. You give your word, you stand by, con. All praises to the Most High. Kwam Yashala. Kwam Yashala. And Ayil. Yeah, Matatu. Matatu Ayakana. Yeah. Where's Rakan? Yeah. Where's Rakan? I know Matatu like to play. Oh, come on. <laughs> shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom. All right, so we just, um, they, so Kwam Yam them say everything already. But, um, Pri Shalomar, LOZ, give them a round of applause, man. <laughs> Because um, if you watch them on YouTube, you'll see that their, their ministry is um, a sense of more divine in terms of the praise and worship aspect of it. And we've been seeing it for a year. And the songs before the prayers, after the prayers, it was an appointment. You just 
Raise the spirit. Can? So give me a little round of applause again. And the food, everything was in place. And um, bam. Well done, sir. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. We could see doubt, but it wasn't there. And that's what we need to see as a nation of people. So brothers and sisters, prepare for the next summit. 21st should be better. Can? Can. Can? Can. But we in so-called January, right? So Pasak is coming up. So we are prepared to be, to do Pasak with a better spirit this year. As the elders say, love. You understand me? And don't wait to see a brother fall because that's one thing Israel like to see, man. When you fall, somebody do a million videos about it. So we go into Passover now with a better mindset and with more spiritual aspect. Because this is our, this is the greatest holy day in Israel history. That's Pesach. right. Han? Right. And the fact that he's talking about Pesach, uh, the Marshal Rashallah is looking into having a, a Passover with the Marshal Rashallah. Khan? We're looking into that. Khan? A Marshal Rashallah Passover. Would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, so we're we're looking into that. Okay, we're talking about it. Right. Yeah, and the bread and the and and, and, and the grill today. Everything was on point, brother. I, I give you I give you a B plus because you have to be a Benjamin thing. It's only a Benjamin. B plus. Right. It's only a Benjamin thing, right? So we 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 happy the younger brother teach a bigger brother something, right? So that's legacy. That's legacy, right? So everything was on point, brother. Everything was on point. So we just said, Barak said, we try our best to keep a unity Passover. You understand me? On a nation level. And we going Zion again for Passover. So if you're Ashak's for warrior, and it was only nine warriors show up this morning. Do you see what's happening over there? So the chicken can't make those trips. So that's why even rehearse, you have to rehearse defense. You understand me? Because if Tazadak asked the question last night, we are the warriors, and you have to ask it again. Yeah. If a man is not able to defend his household, he can't marry my daughter. Right. right. Shouldn't he not marry none of the elders' right. daughter? Right. If you can't defend that, you don't worry enough. Because in the history of Israel, a man could only marry at the age of 20 when he could join the military. Right. Everything judged by a young man, judged by military. Defense. That's why you're going over there now, is a state of Israel. Not a country. It's a military state. So they can defend themselves. Then we only have nine men show for training. But we'll do better in the 21st, right? Yeah. So we might try to come out with a location as soon as possible for everybody to prepare. But as Barack said, we try to do two summits per year now. Right? So yes. So we just prepare for that. So we just say, rise Israel. Khan? Yeah. Priest. Yakanan? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's put our hands together for the most high, the infinite, inexplicable. All right? By Shema Mashiach Yahweh Without him, again, we know that we can do nothing, and it's because of him that we're even here today. I know it's a cliche that we woke up this morning, but we need to give the most high his due. Every time for us having the opportunity to do what we do and to be able to experience what we experience. I want to say the water to all the Zaquanium, to all the Shatarium, to the Banathium, to the Banyum, to everyone, to the little ones, everyone for coming out, man. This is the most high's doing it. And we need to acknowledge this. Listen, we are definitely living in the last days, and I'm gonna be brief, but I want to definitely give you this for coming out. Um, we're looking for a, a better tomorrow concerning our nation. We have to start investing in the future of Yasha Allah and not just thinking about ourselves, thinking about the legacy that we're going to leave behind. You know, what am I putting in place for the next generation? What will they say of me? What will they speak of me? When you speak, think about your name, your name, once you lose your honor, man, you lose your respect. And so we want to make sure that our names stay honorable. We stay away from being tainted. We keep the commandments so that we can live and that we can leave a righteous legacy. All right? Because the world is watching. So this is to, to all of you, beloved. Number 6 and 24. Yahweh bless thee and keep thee. Yahweh make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Yahweh lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee shalom. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel 
and I will bless them. Blessings from Yahweh, Baha Shema Mashiach, Yahweh Shah. Shalom. All right, beautiful. Yeah. Listen, brothers, the sisters, them do a magnificent job, man. And they, 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 they hold it down from Thursday. I went there until to give the sisters a round of applause. Right. Because sometimes sometime it might be rough, we might be talk rude in our speech, but the black man, as I've said, we'll go to war for the black woman, whether she's righteous or not, right? We, we, we nothing without them, but they do a tremendous job, man. So sisters, and the behalf of the Mashara Yashal and all the brothers and camps and schools here, we said Tawada Yahweh. Can? I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> Brother, I'll be there in a minute. Give me a second. Okay. So uh, again, we'd like to thank everybody, especially uh, LOZ also because they had the music and everything. And I did talk to uh, Shalimar about the music group, bringing back the music group to Masharash Allah. So we're gonna continue to talk about that because we wanna bring back the music group on the high level. And so they did the music beautifully. And that's what the most I want. The talents that you have, we wanna incorporate your talents and your spiritual gift in the Masharash Allah. We, you already incorporated into your specific uh, camp that you're from, right? So you want to incorporate it into the martial arts hour. That's all, Khan. Okay? And so, again, we're, we're one nation. Okay? There are many different gates, but we're one nation. And all the gates are under the government of Israel, the martial arts hour. Khan? And that's how we should start thinking about this. Because the nation's got their government. Where's your government? They got their flags. Where's your flag? All right? They have their kings. Where's your king? Our king is the real, the real king, right? Hamashiach Yahushai, Khan. So that's how we got to look at this. So uh, we're coming together more and more and more, right? And you help one another, the different camps, you love one another, you meet a brother, a different camp on the street, you salute him. Even if you don't salute back, you salute him. Let him heap coals of fire upon his own head, Khan. Okay, let it be a recompense unto him for not saluting you, Khan. But you show the love anyway, Khan. Okay, cause that's what Yahweh Shai did. So we gotta be more of an example of what Yahweh Shai taught us to do. Okay? Remember the gospel is everything. We gotta live up to the gospel, Khan. And we're not living up to the gospel. That's why he said, Oh ye of little faith. We're not living up to the gospel. And we gotta start doing that. And and when we go out there speaking in our classes. Right, in our in, in the training and everything that we do, how we uh, uh, conduct ourselves with one another, how we behave ourselves with one another, we gotta live up to the gospel, come, and that's what the Most High is expecting us to do. It's time now, because the Most High said, "Prepare for war." It's war now. There's war in Israel now. Okay, there's war there now because you're not in the land now. So there's war now. Okay? And the most I said should be wars and rumors of wars. He said, but the end is not yet. And then he said, nation shall rise up against nation. Okay? Kingdom against kingdom. Okay? And they shall go and invade in one another. Okay? And the love of many shall wax cold. And that's what's happening now in these last days. And you got to realize that here in America, they're going to come after you. And when the beast and the Antichrist rise up, who are they coming after? Israel. they coming after you. So we got to be more together as a nation in that day. Soon, it's coming soon. Because we're going to need one another. Because death and destruction is coming after us. It's going to come at our doorsteps. It's going to come at you wherever you're at, walking down the street. And we're going to need each other. Okay? You, can, you, you ain't going to be able to run to the police no more, right? They're your enemies now anyway, right? So you know that. So let's, let's police ourselves, Khan. Let's monitor and observe ourselves and, and do the right thing and make sure we remain in the right conduct with ourselves. Okay, Khan? And that's what we're supposed to do. So with that, I want you to enjoy yourself. Here goes Kwarzara Ka from the house of David. Come on up here, you gotta stand in front of me. You gonna give your, you gotta stand in front of me. The mic won't give problem, the mic won't speak. All right, shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Remember this. The scripture says, 
the law and the prophets were spoken until John. And from that point, the kingdom is preached. What's next, everybody? Walking in. What did Howard Shai preach? He's preached what? The kingdom. There's no more, no more 400 years. This is it. Remember this quickly. There's four phases of our history. There's rebellion, retribution, <laughs> rebellion, restoration, right? Rebellion, retribution, repentance, then restoration. All right? We come together to what? To restore. So I'm challenging all of us, get your houses in order, get your camps in order, become unisons. Because like I said, the law and the prophets were until John. But from that point on, the kingdom is preached. I challenge everyone, brothers, training, you're gonna come to training, get yourselves together. All right, the rock and the brothers of the Mashua Council, they bring us unity amongst us. There's no more 400 years. It's judgment time. That's right. <laughs> We're not going back into captivity. This is it. Time. There's nothing else. That's right. So what That's we got to prepare for? Wow. The kingdom. But the, it says the saints shall do what? Take We're going to take the kingdom. So get that into your mind, brothers and sisters. All right? And with that, I say shalom. All right, so that's Cross Iron Cup in the House of David. So with that, I want to thank all the brothers, all the sisters, beautiful sisters, right? All the camps, beautiful camps, all come together, one in unison in Hamashiach Yawashai. Kwam Yashalom! Kwam Yashalom! Kwam Yashalom! Kwam Yashalom! Kwam Yashalom! Hallelujah! 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 H